how y'all doing? Welcome to WJOE. We are back and better to get better than ever for you today. Programming coming from, fuck, I don't know, man. I was trying. You know what I'm saying? I just lost track and, you know, you got to give me an A for effort there. I mean, I'll give myself an A. Is the, the round of applause working? Did it work today? It, it worked excellent. Yeah. It was great. loud and proud. Great, great. Yeah. Just we, we're doing a live sound check right here. Mm-hmm. We've got we've got the the Mac Rib logo happening up there. It is it is ready to go. <laughs> you know, just get people ready, man. Eager for Mac Ribs. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mark, Mark's carrying the load. How are you doing today, Mark? What's going on? I'm excellent. I'm doing excellent. Yeah. Good to hear, man. You're back and you're filling. Are you back to 100%? Oh, right? yeah. I'm 100%. 100% yeah, 100% plus. Okay. Oh, Probably my A game tonight. A game tonight. Oh, A game. Wow. Wow. That's, that's remarkable. Ah! All right. We like it. I like it. Tom, how are you feeling today, man? I am doing absolutely excellent. Yeehaw. Ye- oh, yeah. yeehaw. Wow. He mm-hmm. won up you, man. I like I, you know how that younger generation is. They're always trying to top. Yeah. I was to, oh, no, no top. Trying to top the oldsters. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to, try to top the oldsters. And, and Tom, how, how's the malt liquor reporter doing today? Man? I'm fine. It's all good. Great, great, great. A lot, yeah. lot more prepared to drink malt liquor than I was last week. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I got a. Uh, I'm I'm not bloated from uh, from uh, too much Chinese food this week. I'm I'm going uh, green screenless today. I'm seeing how the virtual background thing works. I, it looks like part of my head's chopped off, but it's all good. Oh, that is what no green screen. Yeah, no green screen. This is okay. all right now. This is all Streamyard technology. Bring in my sofa in to you. Yeah. It's like yeah. slightly, it, it like clouds around you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's, little bit. It's, it's, it envelops it's you. Yeah. Only it's, around your head, though. It seems like your shirt. Kind of- right now, actually, okay. I, I need, I need to divulge something here. It, this is the AI me. This is all AI. This is all AI. Yeah, that you know. If I wish one of your guys had children, for I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles, for you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. I, I just couldn't take it anymore, feeling so much pain that you know had to had to bring the AI me. The real me's over there chilling on in the other room on the on the much better so still has the plastic on it, preserving it. Uh, on that one, uh, <laughs> so what are you drinking, man? I am, I, my, I, you know, right now I'm having uh, Crown Royal salted caramel along mm. with a refreshing diet coke. Refreshing diet coke. What are you having, Mark? I'm having keep the uh, very nice, keep the chat. On my side, I'm having NA tonight. They all, oh, they all love it when I drink NA. Oh, of course, of course. How's that one? Pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think Is it's it, one of the um, best ones. Yeah. The only only hazy IPA I've had was the Sam Adams one. That was really good. Yeah. Is that what kind of resemble good. a little bit? Kind of like the same kind of thing. Yeah, it's generally same same ballpark. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Yeah. They do a good job. Uh, it's yeah. Good. I don't need to make friends with the oh Jew my. and the colored. Yeah. Oh my God! Says so, says so, so the uh, middle aged guy living with, living in his mom's basement with a mask yeah. on. Yeah, with a ma- with a mask on. Life not, yeah, not even a good mask either. By Jeremy, now. how about how about the indigenous people? Right. Yeah. What about the indigenous people? And what what other people can we put a the in front of? Oh, there's all kinds. We there's all kinds. What about yeah. the Indian 
dot India people. What about uh, the me- uh, uh, about the Mexicans? He doesn't like the Mexicans and the Mexicans, and and what about the Puerto Ricans and how about God, the Asians? Oh, oh how, about all the, how about them Asians? <laughs> I hate <laughs> them. He added an M to the to the oh, end of the. Uh, I hate all. them all. Well, yeah, them's them's like plural, right? Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> Well, many. Yeah, them's is plural for him. That it should be it should be a the apostrophe M for him, right? Because yeah. that's like them's, right? <laughs> them's people. Or is there a Z at the end of that, Tom? Should it be T H E M Z apostrophe Z? Right? I mean he's them's. pretty he's pretty special, so yeah. Who knows what could happen, right? He wouldn't. He wouldn't even know to put the apostrophe there. Uh, I don't know. He no. Look at his video titles. There's all kinds of apostrophes. <laughs> usually, usually in words that they usually in plural nouns, usually in action verbs. Usually, ninety nine percent of the time where apostrophes don't belong. Yeah. So the chairman is not unfamiliar with apostrophes. Oh, okay. He, he loves apostrophes, huh? <coughs> yeah. Now he's just unfamiliar with how to use them. Right. <laughs> I I felt oh no ex I felt I felt like that felt like a Seinfeld episode, but it was the exclamation points that was the uh, Seinfeld episode, mm-hmm. the exclamation points. Yeah. When Elaine uh broke up with her current boyfriend over using too many apostrophes. Like she would have put an apostrophe at the end of that sentence and that sentence. And that <laughs> sentence. You, you remember that? I have watched too much Seinfeld in my life. If that's possible. Tom, what are you drinking, my man? Oh, I am drinking a second fiddle. Mm. From Fiddlehead. Not familiar with mm-hmm. second fiddle. Okay. Wow. What, it's been around for a bit. What style is that? It's a double IPA. Coming in at eight point two percent. It's um, it's kind of like a New England IPA, but a little more. You know what I mean? What's its, it's main hops? Bit. Oh, I've, I don't even you see, you see, you see. I don't even know. To be honest, doesn't even say. Single or double? Yeah, is it's it a, a s- double? It's a double. Yeah, because the regular fiddle is a single, and then the second fiddle. Oh, got you. Got you. Yeah. yeah. Second fiddle. I see what you did there. Yeah. yeah I see. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Of course, good. they did, and you did, and everybody did. Sure. Yeah. It's pretty fresh. I mean, sometimes it's hard to get fresh beer anymore. But 321, I think that's pretty fresh. Yeah. Can't they're complain about that. Old. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's kind of my range, month max. Mm-hmm. Over a month, I'm kind of like, yeah. No, they do. Yeah, if you really want really fresh hop flavor and all that stuff, yeah, you need to drink it pretty within a couple months, probably. Yeah, yeah, so I go straight to the brewery. They screw it. Yeah. Now, do they keep it cold from the brewery, or did you get it straight from the brewery? Right. Oh, I, this the brewery's in Vermont, Shelburne, oh, Vermont. Okay. No, I got it. They recently started selling like a what do they call these pipe 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 stove cans stove pipe, yeah. Stove pipe. Oh, uh, I remember these are the, the ones. Um, what's the brewery out of Colorado? That did it? It's, oh, uh, Dale's. Dale's. Uh, Dale's. Yeah, uh, Dale's Oscar, Pill Ale. Oscar Blues. Oscar Blues. Yeah, they were the first ones to really do the stove do stove pipe cans. Yeah, they put Dale's Pale yeah. Ale in there back in the day. Like, Dude, this salted caramel is freaking delicious, man. I don't know why I didn't drink this a lot sooner. This is yeah, that stuff's good. My God. I mean, any salted caramel. I mean, I imagine it has to be good. Mm-hmm. We got Coach in the house, man. Uh, welcome, Coach. I'm going to attempt to skateboard on the oh, sheriff no. first time ever. Ready? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, call 911. Yeah. Send an um, well, well not, coach well, is a not, bit let's be clear, not the first time there's been skateboarding on the show, but the first time coach was going to attempt to skateboard. On the show. Yeah, that's not going to, it's not going to work, Joe. 
my fat ass is going to go this way. The skateboard's going to go that way. Yeah. yeah. It, it makes for great ratings, though. Yeah. You know? It does. Yeah. Well, I'll take one for the team then. Yeah. Yeah. This, one, this one or that Come one? Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. As long as you don't, as long as you don't spill your beer. You know what I mean? That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So, you know what? Even if you do spill your beer, if you spill a coach, it, whatever you spill, as long as you do it on camera, it's worth it. That's right. It's true. It's, I got a whole crew playing. Oh, right on. We got a tournament. We've got a Robinson oh. Cantina. Right on. There's the Cantina. <laughs> Gotta <laughs> love it. Oh, up, dude. Burnt and hot dogs today. <laughs> oh, love it! What? What did Last you call They were worth the shit. What, Tom, what were they worth the shit? Special. Shit. I'm not Tom. I'm Coach. Coach, ask Coach if they were worth Christ. shit. Get it together, yeah. Paul. Get it together, yeah. man. Yeah, get it together. God get it right. right. Tell him. So, so Tom, are the burn ends good? He was asking. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh but yeah, yeah, they were delicious. Yeah. Were yeah. That's anyway. right. So what what were the bur the hot dog burn ends? What were they topped with? What kind of barbecue sauce? What kind of sauce? Uh, so it looks like he took um, just normal hot dogs, chopped them up, and then really, really crisped them in like a barbecue, and then just glazed them in barbecue like a Sweet Baby Ray's or maybe okay. like um, – shit, I can't remember the name of that stuff. It's like KC Barbecue or whatever that stuff okay. is. But yeah, yeah. It's a thicker sauce. So yeah. you get that Albertson's crap. That's no good. The Sweet Baby Ray's is really thick. It's like – it's something thick. Yeah, you dilute it a little bit, though, kind of thinner. Whatever, whatever te you know, consistency you want. So, did you get the big, uh, thick quarter pound hot dogs, the Costco size hot dogs? What did you get? I don't know. Paul brought them. I think they're probably like Nathan's, which are flavorful enough. You mm -hmm. don't need to sauce them, but I'm I'm a Costco guy. I'll get those ones that you burp ten years later, and you're still tasting that same shit. <laughs> I know you guys know what I'm talking about. When you eat Costco hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You taste that. You get your money's night. worth. You get a taste of a yeah, couple times. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a full charge for the burps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing burps better than bacon, though. I'll tell you that, gentlemen. Nothing burps better than bacon. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the only thing that burps just as good as bacon might be some good seasoned brisket mm. that's right yeah that's brisket right. burps aren't bad either <laughs> what's the worst burp what's what's the you bum you, you had some burps Ooh. recently you what, what what's what's a what's the worst thing to burp afterwards where you're like oh oh i got you I, yeah i don't know if i've ever had an unpleasant one whoa I, I got you. I got you, Joe. Yeah. What, what do you got? got some fish. Oh, maybe you ate some fish early in the day. Oh. I I think I've got it, man. I think I've got the topper even above fish. What do you got, or Mark? Even, or even if you take a fish oil, is that? that oh. like, what do you got? Yeah, I. You could. Uh, yeah, fish could be, or a really spicy food too. I mean that. That hurts sometimes mm. burping that stuff up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm big on burping up onions. I well, like them. But... What about what about boiled eggs? Ooh. I I, I like boiled eggs, but yeah, boiled yeah. eggs can be rough a little bit. Yeah, but a boiled egg burp like an hour later and you're like, oh. Yeah. It's like it's like a it's like a catalytic converter going up. <laughs> Not only does it taste like garbage, but the person that's around you and has to smell that is like sulfur. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say that's pure sulfur coming. You get, you get full on sulfur, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is well, true. The you, too bad, but the people around you, yeah, they, <laughs> they know you. They know you're the guy that keeps the eggs in the refrigerator. Right? Yeah, exactly. You got to eat the eggs. Yeah. Oh, look at the way Coach froze up. Hey, that's you couldn't you couldn't picture that any better. I should actually. That looks like it. a nice. Yeah, this is a nice photo. I should save that for the thumbnail on the next on the next yeah. show. Oh, darn it, on the next show. Yeah, yeah. That's uh. Oh wow. We we have oh boiled egg fart. Said neckbone. Indian food. Okay. 
All right. I, I don't know. Indian food's pretty delicious. That's yeah. it's very yeah. spicy though. Maybe okay. Well, it, okay. We well, had delicious food, but then you burped it later, and you're like, you know what? And not so good the second time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not so good the second time. Coach, what are you drinking, my man? What are you drinking? Uh, so John was over here. You guys know John. Yes. Uh, we were drinking a barley wine. I sent you guys a Marco. And then uh, I drank a Ballast Point Watermelon IPA with him oh. before he left. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, is back in the day, you could get a uh, Ballast Point here in Idaho. Now you can't get that. That's hmm. weird. We're going to take a piss. Oh, no. no. Good God. What is going on here? Oh, hey, oh boy, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, for oh, my. oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we're don't be concerned. If you see this, then be concerned. Okay. Well, we just saw it. So oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wash your hands. Yeah, wash your damn hands. Yeah. Hey. But what's the Mark? What's the song you're supposed to sing while washing your hands to make sure you washed them long enough? Happy birthday! Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, yeah, that could be oh, that's that too. Yeah, it, it could be that. for Gerald. That'll take you. <laughs> I, I wanted to hear Coach singing. I thought he was supposed yeah. to sing Happy Birthday or Twinkle Twinkle, so that we knew how long he was washing his hands. Uh, they smell good enough, Joe. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, they do smell I, like soap, but fermented bologna as well. I oh, oh my. Oh, well, oh bologna burps. Winner, winner, Dude, winner. Bologna. What? What's that, Desi? Tell us. I'm a winner. I'm a motherfucking winner. Hell yeah. Out of girl. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So picture this. Okay. You're, you're taking a leak and immediately from Xing. X taking a leak. You have that. Someone calling you a winner. Yeah. I'll record right. yourself, P. Hey, you, <laughs> you, you have to think you're a winner. You I mean, a winner. right? That's motivational. Right? Is that is there some kind of award for that, Mark? But, I mean... I think it's just dumb luck when that happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anybody keeping up with it, it, who who did well in their particular pool for the NCAA tournament? Uh, anybody win? Anybody? What's what, what was that scenario? It feels like Coach and Tom are the only ones that might have been doing any. Yeah, of that. I should have chosen UConn to win. U, UConn won two two years in a row. They just mm-hmm. like wiped the board. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't choose them to win. Um, so. So going into next year, UConn again? They might, honestly. Unless players leave. Yeah, which they so, will. You guys might know, not know this, but the, the hype this year was the women's NCAA, and it's all because of Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. So yeah. she broke record on top of record, and out of all places, they're out of Iowa, which historically is a wrestling school. You should know that, Joe. Oh yeah, uh, I was a big, big wrestling state. They're not known for basketball, um, so really, I watch more of the women's just because of that uh, versus the UConn thing because they beat San Diego State last year, who I love. Um, but UConn, there's no doubt about it; they're great. I don't think they'll do a three peats, but again, we just watch more of the women's just because of uh, the the history there. So, and yeah. Ice Cube. Offered her $5 million to play on that three-on-three league. She turned it down. So who knows what she's going to do now? Maybe WNBA. She still oh, she's doing WNBA, yeah. But, but she's going to make a lot more from her endorsements than she will from her. Yeah. W- she'll make a few hundred thousand WNBA, and she'll make 10 or $15 million from endorsements probably. Yeah. Mark, someone's nice. trying to get your attention here. Mark, I'm making well, okay. a Hey. Neckbone, go ahead and make your cat tower, and then we'll throw ourselves off our respective cat towers together. There you go. You'll do it for the views. We'll do it for the views. Yeah, now Virgin Worldwide says Joe is very attractive. I, I, I think Virgin Worldwide don't really see that well, and that's okay. You know? That's okay. I'll, I'll take all the people that, that don't have our current eye prescription, 
Be- beauty's in the eye of the beholder, Joe. Yeah, yeah right. and if they have no eyes and they can't see, I'm okay with that. Maybe yeah. the mask is partially obscuring the vision. Hey, that, yeah. that's okay. You know? <laughs> that's okay, too. Yeah. If they, subscription. They can't, if they subscription. can't see and they can't smell, then that's awesome, too, right? They can't smell your yeah. heart. They can't smell Bob, Is it acceptable to, to, to use a space and then an exclamation point? Is that hey. how it's supposed to work? Hey, with him, uh, you know what? <laughs> I, I I think he's doing damn good. Yeah. yeah. Just to get the exclamation point in there. And just to spell subscriptions correctly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because don't you have to use the shift key in order to put... Yeah, you do. Yeah. And I also give him credit for not putting an apostrophe S in subscription. <laughs> he usually yeah. does. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the exclamation point right after... Views! Yeah. With with this, it's well, whenever he sees an S, he's got to put an apostrophe before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how do you say this, Tom? How how do you even if a, if there's a space? Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. To, <laughs> I don't even know how you say that. How does that even work? Um, yeah, that's I. I'm not quite sure i'm a little confused when there's a space a good thing it wasn't double spaced that would have really yeah out. i wouldn't have known what to do i that don't was, know what's that, was a, that was a uh, malt seizure if that happens right? <clears throat> i've got a story that i want to get to before the malt liquor report real quick mcdonald's just debuted the world's first scented billboard here's where to find it you can take a trip to the Netherlands. How about that? That's about as that's about as much as a descriptor as any of us need, right? Because I don't hmm. think any of us is getting over there. Um, oh, you know who could check on that for us is Neri. Yeah, I was going to yeah. over there. He could go and check it out. King of smoke, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. He could, could check him it out. on a on a uh, investigative reporting. Yeah, he could check that out for us, but uh, the diffuser. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we we have That's great. special fuck you shout out to this. Joe D. We could get to the and the rest of his craft beer cunts. Just notice he's fucking talking shit. There it is. Right there. I'm the king of smoke. There is none higher. Sucker beer geek should call me sire. Burn my kingdom, you must use fire. I won't stop smoking till I retire. Now I rock the party. He, ha- he has a whole song and everything. Yeah, the king of smoke is the one that we need in here. Yeah. To, to run by the billboard and let us know what it's like. To let us know, That's a, you know. That's a good smoke. idea, actually. What 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 what, what smell does McDonald's have? That's a French fry. Yeah. They're saying we're giving out. It's a odor. Of, it's a French fry odor. Oh, yeah. for sure. Okay, now how many of us have traveled outside the country and had McDonald's outside this country? So Tom has. What? I haven't had McDonald's. I've traveled outside okay. the country, but I haven't had McDonald's. Now, now, Tom, you tell us because I already know the answer. How different are McDonald's fries outside of America? I, I honestly don't remember the fries, but I do remember the menu being not exactly the same. I don't remember oh. everything was on it, but it was like the Royale with cheese, and it was like a bunch of different, bunch of different. I think I haven't been there since I was sixteen, but oh. I do remember. I do remember it being much different. Well, the McDonald's, uh, I've been to McDonald's in Mexico. I've been to McDonald's in Canada. I've been to McDonald's in the UK, in London Airport. And I was, of course, in several McDonald's in uh, Germany. And the fries were way different because they use different oils, you know? Yeah. Well, they're not, I, I, don't, I don't think they're allowed to use the kind of oils that we use out here. Yeah, so the fries in Germany definitely tasted way different. Now, you got used to them pretty quick. Oh, there it is. Mark's got the classic Run DMC album. 
Mark barely stepped off frame by yep. the way. I, I did a bum. I pulled a bum. Well there. done. Well done, he Mark. The bum. So round of applause for the pencil neck. Not yep. even stepping off frame and whipping out an audio file quality copy of well, one. I don't CQ. know. This is a 1985. Yeah. I don't know. Not audio. Uh, record store quality. <laughs> no, record store wow. quality. <laughs> I'm buzzing. Yeah. I'm Almost 40 years old at this point. That's a 39 year old, 39 wow. year old piece of vinyl right there. Damn. Probably worth something. We should check that on Discogs. Yeah, well, let me take my son. Oh, yeah. my son. Do Do you know what the current value is on Discogs? Yeah. Is that a first edition? I don't know. It's It's probably worth a few dollars. There was, they, there was a lot of those. I mean, they put out a million of those things, probably. You know, so. Uh, coach, is, know, but... coach flexing his slaves at the barbecue. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is something else. Who? Did you see what Coach? Dude, show... I'll put this back on the screen. Here you go. Coach flexing his slaves at the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny, guys, but I'm no. laughing. No. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's entirely. It's, it's uh, funny to coach because coach yeah. knows this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anybody else outside of this show is literally insulted beyond beyond. I I go back in the backyard and say that, and coach gets punched in the face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not it's once, not but laugh. twice. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. well deserved, as, 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 you would, as you would deserve to get punched in the face. Yeah, yeah. hey, I didn't, I didn't say the comment. I didn't say the comment. That, that's right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's one of those deals where where this show sometimes they, you don't even have to take it out of context. You could literally read it verbatim <laughs> in context, and you're still insulted beyond repair. Right? I mean, oh yeah. It's insane. I'm kind of curious what Billy D thinks of all of this. You know, if, if you know, all this uh, flexing of whatever. Does, does he flex? I don't know how well timed that entrance is for Billy D. Yeah, me neither. But it happens. And we got the light. Nice. There we are. A round of applause. Got to show show off what I'm finishing off here. This lovely craft beer, Minhaus Light, oh. from the people that bring you Axe Head Malt Liquor and oh Boxer Beer. But look, look Very what nice. it says. Craft, craft Brewed. All right. Another <laughs> a round of applause for uh, Minhaus. So for, for the chairman and everybody else talking about how we waste our money, on craft beer, I'll have you know this cost me fifty cents. Ooh, that's ah! nice. wow! Step into the yourself game, on the list. Son. Yeah, yeah. Another thing that 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 bummer, bummer, Fred, whatever your freaking name is, bum, bum, bum. All right, we are going to continue with the sixteen ounce blue bull. Oh, I have to drink another one since uh, oh, I oh, oh, may, oh. may not have oh. finished last night. Sounds like Mark has something for us here. Oh, we've got more from the cantina, my favorite people. Ah, that's right, boys. Come out next weekend for the cantina opening. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the oh, wow, okay. <laughs> coach is like, What the hell? <laughs> You never know what happens in the cantina, man. Yeah. What happens in the cantina stays in the cantina. <laughs> he just walks away. He's like, <laughs> He's like, I'm not sure I'm supposed to see that or want to show anybody else. <laughs> hey, he was asking for it. He pulled up on it. It's, it's recorded forever now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now he gets off. Yeah, now he jumps up. 
He knew it's more too late. Can't do anything now. Yeah. It's on YouTube forever. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's way too late. <laughs> oh, my God. Hilarious. So, Mark, oh. are you going to join me in the Blue Bowl tonight or no? Yeah. What's happening I mean, here? Man? Yeah. Was January 17th. January seventeenth, twenty two. So it's just a little over two years old. Yeah, that's that's what I'm drinking, and that yeah, that's from the batch that I gave oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm doing it. I don't so know if I'll drink I'm, the whole thing, but I'm gonna. And I'll, I will partake with you. Yeah, oh, you okay, okay. I, I thought maybe you, yeah. I, I thought you meant you were gonna age it a little longer. No, no, no. Okay. I, I hear it's at peak terribleness right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> peak. It's peak worseness. If, as yeah. you were. Yeah. I don't know if I'll drink all of it, but I will take a taste. Yeah. I mean, it's not doing anything. It's sitting in my fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this will be one of the worst burps you've ever had. It might be. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking know. about burps. Yeah. You never know. You never know. I remember drinking oh, that one. Oh, uh, it was. Uh... Here we go. Here. Oh, that's vile. <laughs> it's so sweet. Is this really sweet? Like, Corn syrupy sweet? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh. It's old, too, so it could be a buildup of... Oh, yeah, yeah it's like... Like, um... yeah, yeah, it tastes like cream corn. <laughs> That's how oh. it is. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. Oh. Yeah. It's, got that, it's, got that, it's got that high fructose corn syrup flavor we all love. <laughs> oh, man. And, and yeah, what should people do to get more quality content like this here, Mark? Oh, man. You're probably better off pouring that in Hit a glass. Hit that subscribe yeah. button. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. Yeah. And um, <laughs> click that bell. Yeah, click that bell for notifications. <laughs> for more quality content. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> he looks like... That looks like the face of a quality. A it matches quality. my shirt. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it does. You're matching. Yeah. Aw. Mark, Mark's like, how am I going to drink the rest of this? There's no way. I'm not drinking all of it. I'm, gonna, I'm, drinking, I'm drinking it. I didn't say I would drink no. all of it. I said yeah. I'm drinking it. Well, that was, that was me last week because I, I was attempting to drink it on top of a uh, bunch yeah. of uh, shrimp lo mein. I, oh, I okay. Knew. It even says right I here, knew. it says, a bold and sweet tasting lager for those who appreciate a full bodied malt beverage. Well, it's certainly full bodied. It actually says sweet. Oh. Down, it says bold and sweet tasting lager. So there you go. Right, right. Extra, you drink extra that extra with corn syrup added for flavor. Well, they, they had to put bold in the description because that's what they changed the style of beer to from malt liquor. It's a bold, bold lager, lager now. Yeah. So. It's pretty mm. bold to drink that with shrimp well made. I gotta tell you that. So, yeah. oh, man. yeah, oh, yeah. Well, like I said, I didn't, I was not, I think maybe for the first time ever, I was not able to finish uh, the malt liquor last week. I think that was an actual yeah. first. Shrimp is rough. Yeah, like yeah, all right, yeah. So, I had to get more Diet Coke, man. My apologies. Mm. <gasps> My Diet Coke. Oh. To salted caramel, uh, Crown Royal was a little off, so mm -hmm. we have corrected that mm -hmm. situation. Excellent. By the way, what's the name? Does any anybody? Oh, you can't even see what the hell is in this glass. I don't know what do they call what that. Is, what's the name for no ice in a mixed cocktail in a mixed tr in a mixed beverage? In a Crown and Coke, Crown and Coke with no ice. Is is it called neat or anything? neat? Yeah, neat. Yeah. Is Crown it neat, and Coke. Neat. No. No. Is it neat? Just neat the is when they don't add any. You know, like a scotch, neat. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. You're already <laughs> adding Coke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's not it's neat. neat anymore. Yeah, I'm on a business call. What? Yeah, neat oh, is the still mix still mixer. <laughs> Oh, cheers. He's on a business call at freaking five o'clock on a goddamn Saturday. That's hilarious. Why not? Hey, this is a business. That's how we roll. So, speaking of business, let's get back to business, bum. Yeah. What, what's Billy D got for it? All right. Well, well, how'd you like that? That was pretty good. Yeah. That's all that care. Um, 
unfortunately, this week, there wasn't a whole lot going on. <coughs> what? what? So we've had to really ah! scrape and cobble together this malt liquor report with some maybe a little bit of leftovers, maybe a bit, little bit of previously rejected uh, clips. Even on a good week, isn't that where we're always kind of doing? Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so, scraping the bottom of some barrel anyway, yeah. aren't we? We, we mm -hmm. may even play part of the clip from the uh, video that I said we weren't going to play last week. Oh, wow. We'll Thank see. We, professional part of it, away. Yeah, there's part of it that we can play that is not staged, uh, but uh, uh, a good chunk of it was extremely choreographed. Part of it's real, so okay. so. All right, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to uh, all the way back to Good Friday. The chairman was getting his Arby's uh, fish sandwiches, and I, I they had two kinds. What they had the uh, crispy one, and they had some other kind there. And the chairman accidentally at one huh. point got the wrong kind so he said he had to remember to order the crispy the next time so didn't even know they had two different kinds what's that tom I, mcdonald's you seen no arby's, arby's. arby's. oh arby's arby's <clears throat> yeah yeah arby's does have a good fish sandwich by the yeah. way the last sure. time i had it, it's been quite some time years but yeah. so hmm. Go to. Uh, I think it's one of the pricier fish sandwiches. I'm sorry, Bo. No, no. Uh, Arby's is pricey on everything. Yeah. Coupons, Doug. Coupons. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got the link. One minute thirty seconds. Okay. One minute thirty. Oh, let me get rid of this guy here. Look at this guy. He looks angry. You should check him out. He's actually pretty cool. Oh, this guy looks like he's he's cool. He looks really angry. He's having an anchor. Maybe he's upset about the new label on the anchor. Well, maybe he's upset about the brewery going out of business. Maybe that's maybe. what it is. He's like, you know what? I got this damn gold microphone and everything, and I got this ridiculous robe on, and they're out of business, them sons of bitches. Right? Maybe that's what. Well, it that was. Is. This huh. was three years ago. <laughs> you well, check them out about cool. the label change. I'm telling you. Three what bum? One minute thirty seconds. Oh, one thirty. Okay. And he's like, one, oh, that was one of the training videos he's watching. Yeah. He was on a training. Well, yeah. Yep. Wait a minute. What's up with this jacket? He he's worn that a few times before. Yeah. Has he? Okay. Couple times. That, that looks like a Melbourne? brand new secondhand jacket, doesn't it? That looks like he went thrift shopping again and yeah. picked up a brand new what antique you know. collectibles and treasures, Doug. Okay, if yeah. you're talking about antiques, then you can go a couple of previous generations back and call it sharp. That yeah. was a sharp jacket, right? Mm -hmm. Or no, 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 no. What did they used to call things that were really spiffy? That was spiffy. Or no, 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 no. Uh, smart. Right? That was a smart jacket. Really smart. You look really smart. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? In the UK, don't they still call things that look good smart? If they do, I've never heard it. Of course, I think, Is he I think they do. That looks really smart. I, I think I I could be wrong, but I think people across the pond refer to things not all the time, but occasionally I wish one of them would jump in right now, like our dear friend um, Frank from Kent or um, Adam Adam, and, and confirm or deny this rumor so, that we have. Going so he's very there. smart from his under his neck and from his neck and below. Yeah, <laughs> it was I'm him. never gonna give. I, you know what? I redact. I retract that comment. Yeah, he's been good morning, folks. Did <laughs> double up on the uh, 
by the way, is that the gal from Golden Gals on here? Golden Girls? Is that is that who that is? Who, who's on the screen right here? I think he's watching it. I don't know. I don't know what he's watching. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Is Oh, yeah. I ain't going to repeat that. Fish sandwiches from Arby's. He's, watching, he's eating fish sandwiches and watching Jesus fish. Oh, you missed it. Gotta gotta go back. Uh, no, it's uh, not a Jesus video. Read 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 the rest of that dirt talk. I can't even let me see. No, you can't make it out. I have I have it on small. Let me Jesus Christ is my Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> us, white, us white people gotta stop right there. <laughs> You're just going again. <laughs> oh, man. Up on the. Uh... Let me back it up. Hey, folks. <clears throat> yep. Happy Good Friday, folks. By the way, what the yep. hell? Okay. Right. Here. What is all of this? Look at all the. Mind you, he tugged right here. He tugged here. Tugged here, tugged the glasses, tugged over here. But what are all these white specks all over the place? Let's rewind the tape. <laughs> the then you can get, look at that, yep. tug, tug. He tugs right next to where that other white speck was and didn't take care of business. Jesus Christ is in the <laughs> yeah. Happy Good Friday, folks. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Did double up on the uh what? And do you see it vibrating by his mouth? Look at look at how it keeps vibrating. Right there. Did double up on the uh look at do you see it moving? Say yeah. sandwiches from Arby's. Look at that. It, it, it just keeps going. Chicken. Look at that thing. <laughs> look at that. Look at it's yeah. right between the lips right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get shit faced, boys. Yeah. What, what are you? Yeah, Steve, you are. Man. Nate, are you already shit faced? No. Are you shit faced? She just passed out in your bed. No, she's not. <laughs> Good. You better go talk to her, bro. <laughs> yeah. oh. Pull out that love gun, big dog. Whoa. Yeah, hey, let's see the love gun. Yeah. I'm oh, boy. Co coach following behind live TV. Yeah, let's see the love gun, man. I oh, love okay. hey, let, hey, is there going to be a gunfight? Let, let's see the shootout. What's she doing in my bed? Whoa. She's taking a nap. Oh, Hi, Mandy. Mandy. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, we yeah, got. I'm putting it on record. I'm the only sober one here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like it. Dude, we're going to get shit. <laughs> Resume the show, gentlemen. We're going to get shit faced. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh. So, to be clear, they're, to be clear, they're going to. Start getting shit faced. That's yeah. No, they're going to continue getting shit faced. <laughs> yeah, to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just prepping for Hangover Sunday, folks. Just prepping for Hangover Sunday. <laughs> oh, that's sorry, that's Bum. Weird. I always interrupt Bum. I'm sorry. This Go ahead, John. Right. This is how all you right. prep for Hangover Sunday. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so back to the video. Rewind again, because if you pay attention to this speck that's over here, if you can see my cursor, actually, there's a third speck I hadn't even seen before. He, he, he is, uh, and, and it, uh, uh, I, there's so much happening here. It's just did double up on the uh, look at that, look at that thing go. Fish sandwiches from Arby's. Oh, I was hanging on. Crispy chicken. Two for six. There you go. He just he just said his favorite type of fish sandwich. What the hell? Chicken. Two for six, Doug. Chicken. Chicken, but it's a fish sandwich. Yeah. And he's wearing half of it around his mask here, isn't he? Look at that thing. And it's in a Greek gyro wrapper. That's so confusing. So I mean, look at this thing. What? Watch it, like. Crispy chicken. Look at that. For six, How Doug. long does this thing stay hanging on here, bum? Step to the fucking savings. Oh, my God. Yep. How long does it stay on there? 
And he keeps what's funny is this one that's hanging here, he keeps tugging on it. That thing is just it, it must be etched in Jesus. fabric. Time to get loaded again. Oh boy. Yep, he died on the cross today for our sins. Today. So repent, you asshole. Fucking repent. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> going to, going to oh. church with the chairman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus going to church. Is, yeah. Is, uh, yeah. Exactly. Brother. I'm kind of curious how long this damn thing lasts on that mask. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. No. Yeah. It, uh, oh, it's still there. It's still, still there. there. Yeah, there's remnants of it. Are you doing more in this video, Bum, or are you done with this? Uh, no, that's all uh, that uh, I have. We we have to see how long this thing hung in there because... Whoa! <laughs> but all three of them are gone right here. What the hell happened? What? what? Oh, he must have done some spring cleaning or something. Oh, there it is! He took care of all three of them with one wipe. This guy is Mickey Mouse. Do you remember the episode of Mickey Mouse? What is that episode from like 1936 or some crap like that? Where Mickey Mouse gets the the seven flies with one swipe? Do you, do you know anybody? With oh, I don't remember that. I, I don't know that one. I'm 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 an animate vintage animation, but not Disney. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. There there are enough Disney fanatics out there that somebody is with me. On what year Mickey Mouse got seven with one? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Disney is it's literally the only Disney trivia I know. I don't know the answer to it, but I know it happened. And 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 we could mark this day as the day that the chairman got three and one. Mm. Right? Maybe right maybe here with a crispy chicken just... uh fish. With the crispy yeah. chicken fish sandwich. Maybe his best accomplishment in history. <laughs> Three and one. His mom should be so proud. Oh, his mom is ecstatic. She is. Yeah. His, his mom should be so proud. She's making. Whoa. Yeah. Is yeah. It, I'm, I'm not even going there. But if you remember. That's a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're working on tomorrow's achievement, right, Mark? Is that yeah. <laughs> this is how champions are made? You want to you want to know how Hangover Sunday happens? Check in Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 Sunday, Sunday hangovers only happen on Saturdays. That's yeah. how they fit. Yeah. Um, if you really want to make it happen, drink margarita mix. That makes it happen yeah. a lot faster. <laughs> That's the after one. some barley wine. That's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Barley there wine. This is the this is how champions are made. Right here, legends. Right. This is the song, uh, Tom. Yeah. Right here. That's what's playing the coach's barbecue right now. Right. That's the song. So That's the theme. I so how you feeling, Joe? I feel like you kind of just got a moment in you. You're like, you know what? I can just play regular music. Who cares? I'm pretty much there. Yeah, because yeah. I'm going to get flagged for something at some point anyway. Yeah. But will they take your video down fully? Or no, they, they don't take it down. They just, they just non-monetize it. So why not play it? Yeah. Take, no, a couple, I, I, they take a couple zeros off the video. That's all. I fun. mean, they, there you go. They, they take a few zeros off of it. I mean, what's the and it makes it funner too. You can kind of add your own vibes to it, and you can kind of. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. Right now, you just witnessed it. Yeah, Tom, you guessed right. Yeah, I'm, I'm to the point where it's like, you know what? Screw it, man. If you're gonna flag me, then I might as well. I might as well get flagged for some music I actually play. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you get flagged, do it for yeah, real, real stuff, not just secondary. You know. Primary. By the way, you got to be the primary it, instigator. Don't don't have there, it. There, there's a few record collectors in the house. Any of us have that record? Mm -mm. Do any of us own that? I don't. I have to admit, no. I don't. I do. I don't not. own many records. I don't want to make two or three. 
Yeah, you own a box set or two, don't you, Tom? Yeah, I own a Metallica Black box set, which I wish I kind of wish I didn't get because I saw it. From, it's it's it, it. They made too many of them. Yeah, they made too many of them. Well, I I think they made a couple different versions, didn't they? It, wasn't there like two? I got the I got the whole entire set with everything in it. Ooh, okay, the big dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got the big dog one. It's just I even I haven't even why I think I did open it, but I didn't really go through it. Just left everything in it. How many how many records does Billy D own? I'm kind of curious. I don't know how many he owns, but I know he made two. That's right. <laughs> That's better than owning. Inclu- including his number one hit, Come Back, My Little Sheep. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I got flagged for playing Billy D's music either. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I don't think YouTube's aware that his music exists. <laughs> He's in a high commodity. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I think that's the one episode I did not get flagged. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. You can just play all Billy D music from now on. Yeah, I just everything's got to be. It's all Billy D wall to wall. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's funny. That is funny. I'll tell you, man. If anybody has not gotten this salted caramel Crown Royal, dear God, this stuff it's sweet. And 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 tell you the truth, the more I consume of it, the sweeter it kind of gets. I don't know, Tom. Did you get that? Now the blackberry was I, I never had that one, but the blackberry was a whole different ball game. It was like I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest with you. I just drank it because I had it, but it was very bitter. You know, blackberry, but even blackberry brandy in general, it's yeah. just very bitter and it's not very. It's not that great. That's, yeah, it's a whole different ball game. It's sweet. It's not it's not the caramel. Anything It's very sweet. Yeah, it can kind of go it, with anything. Yeah. Now. And, and mind you, you don't realize like, you know, I love I love Diet Coke, but sometimes you don't realize how sweet Diet Coke is till you flatten it a little bit or you're, you're having sure. it kind of, you know, because I'm having this right now currently with no ice. So right now these Diet Cokes are just sitting here warming up right a second. So by the time I consume it with salted caramel Crown Royal, mm. pretty sweet. So to me, it's sweeter every drink that i have does that sound about right mark would you know yeah as it warms up it gets it gets sweeter if, yeah if you had ice it'd probably be better it'd probably dilute it a little bit yes you're you're absolutely right at this point yeah, yeah. i i would definitely recommend it, it it's not a fa- you know it you know i think the problem oh, oh nice. uh, joe skull nice. kiss alive double album nice now, now, Joe Skull was saying "Kiss Alive" too. Yeah, what one? Yeah, that's all I got. I got at least I got a double. I got a double <laughs> album. Yeah. Kiss Alive. Come on, that was just out of reach. You got more kiss than I. Uh, more kiss than yeah. I've got. I don't. I don't. Joe, yeah, sure I, got two. I do not own a single Kiss record. Yeah. Joe, if you shove your hand in that hole right there, maybe you might be able to find a couple things in the back. Oh, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I've. I can say that I've been to more Kiss concerts than Kiss records that I own. Really? <laughs> one, okay. one versus zero. Okay. How was it? How was it? It was. In, uh, it was in '96. Uh, it was when they got uh, Peter and Ace back in the band, and they put the makeup back on. But that wasn't your question, was it, Tom? No. Uh, it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> it swear to god and i'm not a kiss fan and i'm not a gimmick fan but it was one of the greatest shows i was ever at really? from a showbiz standpoint yeah really from from a musical musical standpoint not so much but from a show standpoint one of the greatest shows yeah. i was ever at pure, pure that's what they were known for yeah yeah, yeah. wow yeah that's cool. Well, that's a compliment to Kiss right there, isn't it? Like that's that's yeah. pretty oh, cool. Sure. That's they what they about. They were the- yeah. You're not going to get a class in music theory when you go to a Kiss concert. No, but, uh, in '96 they were still pretty. They were still going at it pretty good, right? I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean they were uh, they were not even 50 yet, so yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The That's repercussions cool. from all the drugs hadn't quite sat in. Well, oh. that's that's Ace and Peter, not Paul, not Paul and Gene. Though those guys have been clean, yeah, their whole career. Well, I mean, but well, Gene is he really clean? Uh, yeah, no, he no. Gene's only vice was underage girls. He oh. never he never <laughs> yeah. touched any drugs. Oh my, that's even worse. I'd rather you do a drug. He, he, he never smoked weed. He only uh, messed with fourteen-year-old girls. Yeah. So, yeah. so no. he he so he is the uh, essence of uh, virtue. Oh, essence. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> so was he one of those guys buying the uh, Japanese panties out of the vending machines and all that stuff? No, I think he's the one who probably invented a kiss. Kiss vending machine to sell panties. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yep. Oh, Master marketer—that's what they are. <laughs> for yeah. sure. All right, Billy D, get us out of this, man. Give us another link. Give us. All something. right, we got more chairman here. This was from one of his uh, live streams, and uh, you can play the whole thing. And this is another episode of higher mathematics with the chairman and oh. this is pretty well timed because i believe in two weeks he's going to celebrate his 15 year anniversary on youtube but this is where and i did mention this but we never played the video before where he said down the line he was thinking about getting a burner phone and taking live calls during his uh oh uh, his podcasts and uh live streams hmm. Wow. Yeah. But listen to the numbers here. Okay. And the stroke wow. and the stroke that he has. Whoa. 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 Stroke of numbers. Yeah. Oh, numbers. Yeah. But okay. And what what part of oh, the whole thing? The whole thing. Oh, excellent. In the future, I'll probably get a burner a burner phone and then take phone calls. Live. I mean, 30 years of content, Doug. Whoa, wait, what? 30 years? It says 30 years of content. Wow. Uh, in the future, I'll probably get a burner, a burner phone and then take phone calls live. I mean, 30 years of content, Doug. Three years of content coming up. Uh, that would be like three years from now. Whoa, wait. What? Three years of content, Doug. Three years of content coming up. Uh, that would be like three years. Did Elmer Fudd all of a sudden join? Yeah. I, I want him do his math. I'm going to hear his come to content coming up. Uh, that would be like three years. Uh, from uh, three years of content coming his up. His brain was burning up. 30 years from now, or he put 15 in, so that's 45 years of content. 45? <laughs> now it's me going, what? what? Hey, Mark, um, okay, I should, I be, should I be putting my money with this guy? I mean, the way he does numbers, you're, yeah, you're he out does, of it. He doubles your money just like that, man. I'm not yeah, hiring you. I'm hiring this guy to you manage. You give him 15 bucks, and within 30 seconds, it's 45. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. If, is this guy a fiduciary? I mean, I, I'm hiring oh, yeah. this. To himself. I'm hiring this guy. Yeah. He's acting in his own best interest. <laughs> Imagine him actually being your financial advisor and you find a video of him online doing oh. this bullshit. Like, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh uh, my God. Do we know what he does for a living, Bum? For real? Like, seriously? Joe, I can't believe this is even still a discussion at this point. Yeah. He doesn't think do anything for a living. He's on so. social, he has to be on social security, right? No, no, he's not. He's not. He's got to be doing something. But what? He's he, he's actually in the financial world, isn't he? Oh, he he claims to be the Wolf of Wall Street, and yeah. he does he does play the stock market. Okay. With mom's money, is that what it is? Is that uh, yeah? But to play the stock yeah, based, market, based on what I've heard, I 
guess if you really stretch things, you might be able to say that. Okay. All right. Good enough. You're going to be good with math, though, don't you? Right. Well, he is. He's obviously he has, good at math. Yeah. He's very good at math. That's what I'm saying. Should I take part of my portfolio and put it with the chairman? Because, dear God, my money is, you know, multiplying by the mofo here. Right? So, I mean, <laughs> now, screw crypto. Put it in chairman. Yeah. Yeah. Now, at first I thought, well, maybe he's saying 30 years of content because knowing him, 15 years on his channel, then 15 years still worldwide, too. That's 30 years. But then he says 15 years from now is 45. So yeah. it wouldn't be 45, yeah. it would be 60. What, what kind of math chart is that, Mark? What? Uh, how do you figure that? What? How do you, how uh, do you... malt, 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 go back to it. It's malt math. Malt yeah. math. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Malt math. Let, let's re see that again. Can we re see that? Is that um it's a malt math petition? Yeah, let, let's redo this and see how it works here because uh, in the future I'll probably get a burner a uh, burner phone. Okay, so it starts with the burner phone, Mark. You're doing mm -hmm. things all yeah, yeah. okay. Get your spreadsheet ready for this next part, okay? Yeah, I'm ready. Got my calculator. I'm ready. Okay. And then take phone calls live. Okay, take phone calls live. All right. I mean, 30 years of content, Doug. Okay, 30 years of content, Doug. Okay. 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 30 years of content coming up. Uh, that would be like 30 years. <laughs> Maybe it's not just jumble and jam. That, it... that, that, see that, that mumbling? That's when he engages his internal supercomputer yeah, that, that does the math yeah. for him. That's, that's the chairman algorithm working, right? Yeah. You heard the algorithm calculating. 30 years of content coming up. Uh, that would be like 30 years from now. <laughs> 15 in, so that's 45 years of content. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> That completes your chart, Mark. Do, okay. do you got all that? Do you got, yeah, I got all it? That? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It 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 does it, it that does not compute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ever ever ever. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Neck, not that bone's that right. Neck bone's right. Maybe he maybe he plays the futures market right because <laughs> in the future, right. Uh, I love that we heard it. We heard it actually happening. That's what it sounds like when yep. the cloud is computing your stuff. You know how when you ask, yep. you ask, you know, either one of your female um, virtual assistants, you know, any of your, mm -hmm. your, you know, and and they tell you that's what it sounds like. That's what's going on behind the scenes. They dab de dab 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 de dab dab dab. You heard it. We we need to we need to contact Bezos and let Bezos know. Hey, we we heard you. We heard what she sounds like when she's figuring it out. We, we've got it. Dab de dab dab de dab dab dab. That's pretty good. He also does realize he doesn't have to get a whole nother phone. He can just get like a Google account with a phone number. No, 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 no. Burner phone. Okay. Or he can just like, there's apps that you can create phone right, numbers. Is that way Google would track it all? Yeah. Burner phone would be untra untrackable, supposedly. Yeah. Burner okay. phone. Burner phone. What else you got, Bo? Yeah. <laughs> the only question I'm left with uh, after this whole thing is, why did I wait so long to play this video? Yeah, exactly. So there was there was a lot of content there, boom. Yeah, yeah. So doing much better than I did last week on the uh, blue bull. You're not drinking. You're not drinking another one. Oh, Oof. sixteen. Here, don't open that. Take take mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're expired. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is this I drank maybe one quarter done? of it. I drank maybe four this, ounces. All right, wait a minute. I'll drink a third. First, okay. first one. Oh, you already drank one. Yeah, no, this is number two. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. 
Bum, bum's an animal, man. Hardcore. I, I, I have to make. I have to repent uh, for my sins of last week, as the chairman says. Repent. That's your right. Ass. That's right. It, it, this you, is penance. This well, is bum got penance. religion from the chairman. He's repenting. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel when you wake up in the morning after drinking a couple of those? I don't wake up in the morning on Sundays because I work Sunday night and I end up sleeping a good chunk of the day. Oh, so that helps. That helps tremendously. Of course. So. Of course. Jesus. <laughs> he knows how to manage his hangover Sunday. Mm -hmm. All right. To the next clip. Uh, we'll skip this. All right. Speaking of the chairman live. Here's something else we haven't played. This is Jay Vega. Oh, wow. Vega, okay. Let's see what shirt he's wearing. Yeah, rare, rare is the previously unreleased Jay Vega clip. So you can just uh, start at the intro. Okay. At the intro, I like it. Let's go here. Let's post the link. And play. Whoa. We're into the video here. Come on, what's happening? What the hell? There it goes. So I get up at 5.30 in the a.m. every morning, get ready to go to work. So I'm sitting there, drinking my coffee, eating my breakfast. It's a little after 6. And, uh, by the way, that's a half hour prep time. He gets up at five thirty. We've got his schedule. But how how long does it take you guys to to by the time you get to your morning coffee or your morning tea, whatever the hell it is you're drinking in the morning? You obviously drink something in the morning, whether it be water, whatever it is. And then you're just processing before you walk out the door or whatever you do. He, well, if he takes a, if he gets up and takes a shower, then I could see half an hour. If he's not taking a shower, then I would say fifteen minutes to coffee. But so I, I'm betting he takes a shower or something in the morning. God Almighty! Even if I'm taking a shower, I'm a pretty quick shower guy. Well, well. but he I'm to linger. He likes to linger in the shower with a soap on a rug. Well, and he's got to wash that beard too. He's got to wash that that beard and, and the rat tail. And the too. rat tail. Yeah. Okay. That adds, that's, uh, stuff out. Yeah. yeah, that adds a lot of time. You got to put the beard butter on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, it, so, so a half hour is a that. long time to you because a half hour to me is a short time, is what I'm getting at because I have to do my stretches and stuff like that, a, a couple of calisthenics to get ready, and then I have my cough. So, yeah, I, uh, apparently, I prefer an, I prefer an hour. On my side, yeah, you know right. Up, I'm, I'm, up, I'm, yeah, water, I'm, I'm, yeah. You know you what I'm saying? I mean, you know, in in my case, I'm waking up, I'm firing up the shower to let that bad boy kind of warm up, and 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 then I'm, um, you know, contributing to the kids going off to their morning swim in the pool, and and then I'm, you know getting in the shower and doing what you do there and then and then I got to do my stretching and then I do my push-ups and my sit-ups and yeah not, not I'm not like a full blown workout here but just a couple of calisthenics and I do some stretching right cuz I'm north of 50 you got to do these things to prepare yourself for the yeah. day. <laughs> you know? otherwise I I am no good to anybody <laughs> And, and and then I'm ready for my morning coffee, and then I sit there drink my coffee, and I'm ready pretty much for walking. Maybe and that, start your car, let it um, warm up a little bit. I, I'm easily waking up an hour before walking out the door. Is that is that a similar routine yeah. that you have, Tom? Yeah, you have to. You, you, if, if you wake up too late, and especially when you have kids, it's, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Just, oh, when you, you have kids. Oh, dear God. Yeah. I have kids. So why, why did I get the name Earth? <laughs> but I'm beyond <laughs> that. <laughs> Are you put it on yeah. there? Yeah. I'm beyond that. Why, uh, why did I get the name Earth? <laughs> you look like Earth. I, you look like Earth. 
I can't. I, I want to. I want to see Earth. Can somebody show me fucking Earth? Oh, absolutely. Show me yeah. Earth. I want to see Earth. Oh yes. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> You're being, you have to be so aggressive. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry. I, if I'm aggressive. <laughs> He's a little aggressive, but it's okay. We accept that. that you know what I'm saying? I, I understand. That's just wife. Show me Earth. I, I want to see some Earth. I, I, oh, how much Earth do you want to see? Because <laughs> <laughs> those pictures are only on my OnlyFans, by the way. You know, you got to pay good money for those. But I'll show you the. Yeah, photos. Joe, is that a is that a big clit or a penis? I meant to ask you. <laughs> okay let me let me get to the let me see where is my earth photo hold on hold on i've got an earth photo here so oh here it is okay let me let me get that to my uh computer and then i will post it here on okay here we go we're we're almost there here there it is. Okay, so let me get this here. Let me the Earth was just bad to watch. Why am I on video? I know this isn't Hold like on. Really, We're gonna show Earth. really good content for anybody, What's but that? What, you eat? What, that? what the fuck did you eat? Egg. An egg? This here it comes. Okay, so as soon as it, okay, here it is on my screen. Now I can share the screen. Oh, here it is. Here's Earth. Oh, here we go. There's Earth. Where? Right there on the right. There's Jody and there's Earth. Earth, Earth usually wears glasses. There's a resemblance. I'm not saying you're twins, but there's yeah, a resemblance. Yeah, okay. He, he normally, well, actually, he is wearing his glasses. Just in this photo, he has them on backwards. Yeah. And <laughs> so he walks off. That's funny. He doesn't really, you know what's funny is it's one of those situations where to everybody else, we see it, we know it. Yeah. And the person that looks like that person that we can't know see and we see yeah. can't see it. Yeah. Right. I recently, I'm trying to think of who the hell it was. I recently had someone show me a photo. And, and start yelling at me because they were like, you were doing this, and what the hell were you doing there? And I was like, I, I, I don't even remember this. What what do you mean? And they're like, well, what the hell were you doing there? I don't even understand what the hell you were doing there. This recently happened, like, within the last two weeks. And I was like, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. That's how much this person looked like me. <laughs> hey, Joe, you know, you know who you look like a little bit? I used He's playing the Celtics when I was younger. I used to watch him all the time. Ant, you know, Antoine Walker. I do remember you him. You kind of have a little bit of Antoine Walker in you. In, in my Ooh. younger days, you know who I used to get a lot was Ice Cube. Okay. In my younger days, I used to get Ice Cube a lot. In my younger days. Uh, you, you know, strangely enough, oddly enough, when I was in the service, when I first joined the service and I was stationed in, in New York, I used to have a beard, very similar to the way I am now. <laughs> long story. But I always wore a beard. It's a long, long story. Trust me. You wouldn't think someone in the military would have a like like this all the time. Uh, uh, a five-hour shower, whatever you want to call it. But that's what I did. It was totally rebellious BS. And Anyway, it's a long story. But in those days, so did he. And I looked a lot. I could see it in those days. There was also a cat, and I posted his video, one of his music videos, to my web to to my channel here on YouTube. And back in the, I don't remember the guy's name, but one of his music videos is on my channel here, still to this day, I think. At the time that I posted his video to my channel, I was getting more. Yes, on his video on my channel than he was on his own damn channel. Oh, and I remember having a back and forth with his agent or promoter or something at the time, and he didn't flag me because he was getting so many hits. But I looked like him. So in in my in my in the height of my popularity on YouTube as a beer reviewer, I was getting 
you know, saying this back and forth, and people were like, "Oh my God, you look just like this guy." Yeah, so I don't remember who the guy is, but his I still has a video on my channel. If you look way, way back, almost as many years as the chairman quotes to have been. The chairman quotes to have been on videos longer than YouTube has been around, but I don't know how all that works. Maybe he made YouTube. I don't know. I don't know how all that works. It's beyond since he was born, but I don't. I don't know how, how does how does all that work. I have no idea. But there is there is Earth. That is the the man that we know as Earth to to all of us back in the day. Actually, that's oh, that's that's a while ago. Two thousand sixteen, actually. Yeah. Is that 2016? Absolutely. That's, that's, that's right before we met at GABF. Yeah, that's 2016, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You have time flies, man. That yeah. Helped. Earth was still a daily figure on this show. and Well, weekly figure on this show. Yeah. That was back then. So, yeah. There you go. He probably he probably watches every once in a while, I'd imagine. <clears throat> watches the recording, I would assume. Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's on more of your time zone, right? Absolutely, yeah. Well, I think right now he's not. I think once you guys change time then he Maybe an hour difference. He went back an hour. Yeah. Oh so or, yeah. I don't know. How does that work? I, I don't know. We don't change. Everyone else changes. I have no idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, I, you, you lose an hour. We lose an hour of sleep. So it goes It goes back. Was it 530 there, Joe? You're three hours behind Eastern time. Was it 530? Yeah. It is yeah, you're the same time as California then. California is 530. California. I have no idea. Honestly. Your Pacific standard is what you are. When you live in Arizona, you don't Mountain change. standard. Yeah. No. It goes more towards All you do is go from standard to daylight savings, and I have yeah. no idea. If I didn't do this show. Hey, I'm going to get off, but I have an announcement to make. Oh, yeah. What's your announcement, my man? I'm intoxicated. Oh, that, oh, you look oh, intoxicated. Is that, is that, is that your announcement? Ah! Wow, okay. I, Tom, I love you because you're a fucking badass. Oh, Bum, I love your stats. Mark, keep on keeping on, motherfucker. And Joe, <laughs> love you, brother. You guys are all solid, my goddamn. We'll see you, coach. Coach. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, you stay stay safe, your coach. out. Stay safe, coach. Yeah. <laughs> We we won't find out till tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll, yeah. You know, yeah. Was yeah. Messed up. When, when you when you see that eye twink like 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 squibble a little bit, you know they messed up. Yeah. Yes. We 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 may not have uh, seen or heard the last of him uh, tonight. No, not no. necessarily. Maybe not here on the show, but uh, we yeah, may yeah. hear from him later. Yeah. From <laughs> that, who knows where. Yeah. Under yeah. who knows what circumstances. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, that's our that's our loose cannon of the show, yeah. if you will, right? That's, we have no idea. We thought, Mark, uh, Bum, Tom, we thought there was some intoxication happening prior to this announcement. Oh, for sure. But oh, then there was an the announcement. Intoxication, the intoxication began five hours ago, Joe. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> But the, the there was an announcement just, yeah. a, just maybe a half hour ago letting us know the intoxication was about to happen. Yeah, that's when it was. That's when, that's when it was kicking in. Yeah. Ooh 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 ooh. There was an Arnold person back there going. You know what? Um, I'm the one that's not intoxicated. The one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike. No, Mind you, the people that run the cantina are her parents. <laughs> Just to put all the relationships in, in into perspective, the people that run the cantina, the ones that went, ah, that, those people are her parents. 
Yeah, we, so, we were watching an earthquake before the tsunami. Kind of. <laughs> so, we were watching everything go down before. Uh, yeah. It actually goes down. So, what what we get tomorrow is. Uh, I don't know. And then if, if, if you if, don't get it, if you don't get it, then if you don't get one tomorrow, you know it was that bad. Yeah. It was that yeah. bad. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Oh. Uh, what else do we have here? We're still in progress with Vega. Oh, yeah, oh that's we got about five good. seconds in 10 minutes ago, yeah. Jeff. So that's back, right. roll the tape. Yeah, then Coach kind Hulk of. Hulk had no idea how long we would go with this, did he? That that had legs, dog. Yeah. That that had serious legs. Okay, so the people on their toes. That had a lot more legs than even I anticipated. Okay, so here we go. Here we are. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here we are. Now here we are. From the beginning, we'll go back. So, we... so I get up at five thirty in the a.m. every morning. Get ready to go to work. Oh, that's why we stopped. There, drinking my coffee. <laughs> and you know what? I I don't see the comments till all this is over. So if anybody accused me of something, you're right. Okay, you're one thousand percent correct. I am guilty. I should not have done that. I should have kept in the flow of the Vega, and I didn't. My apologies. We'll rewind the tape and do it a third time correctly. Okay? So I get up at 5.30 in the a.m. every morning, get ready to go to work. So I'm sitting there drinking my coffee, eating my breakfast. It's a little after 6. And uh, that fucking nerd is doing a live stream. Getting fucking shit faced at that hour. Now I noticed that uh, Bum happened to be in the comment section or the chat or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But Bum has an excuse, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bum, but don't you work third shift? So yeah, you work third shift. Uh, that's that's prime time for you. But we know that nerd don't work third shift. That nerd don't work no fucking shit. <laughs> Good fucking God. <laughs> Used to be. And oh. that's it. And yeah, Vegas correct. I, I have been in the chat of many of his, uh, right the chairman's now. late night streams. And I certainly part have participated in the chat, but I'm certainly not uh, drinking at that time. So he does, he does, he's doing live streams at six thirty seven in the morning. Oh, he has. You name an hour. You name an hour of the day. The chairman has been live at some point. And he's and he's he's drinking multiple forties. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah so. I wonder he he def he can't be monetized right because he the music he plays. Right, right. So yeah. it's, I mean that'd be a thing if he was. Making money off of YouTube. I I, I think maybe years ago in the earliest days, uh, he might he might have made a few pennies. Yeah. But that's long. Those days are long gone. No, um, so he just basically drinks twenty four seven and yeah, doesn't have a job. So <laughs> if he wasn't, he'd probably be making like two or three thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars a month if he wasn't if he was monetized because he does get views and. Not a ton of views, but he does. Yeah, get, he's, actually, he he's doesn't making get, twenty or thirty bucks a month off of yeah. views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that enough yeah. to buy a case of forties. But he's yeah. he's currently cutting down on the live streams because because of the return of forty ounce fear for one. Mm. So he said he's got to stay on top of things. Fear makes a video. He's got to make a response video. So he's he's once again getting back yeah. to his bread and butter. Which is uh, the catalog oh. videos, Doug? Yeah. Has he done any public videos that recently? Oh, oh, the trolling. No, he had. No, there's been nothing. Nothing. Oh, hey, 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 hey! I think we stopped him. I think we kind of stopped him. No, no, no. He cl he claims uh, when the weather breaks, which is kind of happening now, he's going to oh. be back out on the Ave, Doug. 
Oh, there he goes. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Good. There's Mookie. There's the, bat, the Mookie, Mookie Bats. There's the Mookster in the dog form. Yeah. It's it's nice having a dog around. He's it's he's nice. feeling a little lonely because the roommates uh out on uh a late birthday celebration with her daughter, so he's 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 a mama's boy, if you will. So he's feeling a little, long, especially because I'm doing the show. He's feeling a little, a little looking lonely. for some attention. Yeah, he's spoiled, man. Bad. She spoils him bad. Are you feeding the dog probably brisket and all this good stuff, right? Do you feed any leftovers? Leftovers, sure, but she absolutely is religious about not letting him have pork. He only has poultry oh, or really? beef because really? he's an inside dog. Um, so outside dogs can have pork. Mm. Uh, they they are super animal knowledgeable. Her and her family. Uh, I I had I've had many many animals in my life. They 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 know so much. Uh, her her whole uh, family, and I, I had no idea like pork kind of makes dogs kind of go. A lot more. Oh, yeah. If Great you have an outside animal, then it's okay to give them pork, including bones and so so forth. Um, so you know, it's her dog. I listen to her. You know, so you know, he he looks at me and he'll be like, "Man, can I get a bone or something?" And he looks at me, you know, like, "Come on, oh, fast, give me a bone, give me something," you know. And I'm like, "Sorry, dude, your mom said no." He must see all these bones. He's like, this motherfucker. <laughs> right, yeah. So, and by now he kind of knows. It's a trip how smart dogs are, right? He's in the right house, dude, because I have beef freaking all the time. I have turkey, chicken. We have a lot of poultry. The dog eats just like Mark's cats. Mar you know, the, our this dude eats insanely well i mean i just did two briskets this dude is got all the fat from the rendered fat because now what i do is i separate the points from the flat all that like kind of gross looking if you were to cut a cross cut in the middle of the brisket you know how you get all that fat in the middle i separate point from the flat these days and I package them separately so if you order a brisket from me by the way newcreationbbq.com if you order a bar a brisket from me that's how I ship it I separate the point from the flat you're going to get two packages I was running into too many issues with people worried about how to cut it so now I separate it all that fat in the middle that makes the illusion of a jiggy a jiggly brisket right you see people jiggling the brisket like it's a jello that's really that fat that separates them so all that fat i scrape off and i save for mookie <laughs> so all that all that beef fat gets mixed in with his food and he acts like a cluck that's a met you do you know a meth addict in your life do you have oh, yeah. any hooked on drugs it <laughs> <laughs> whenever I give him any of that beef fat that I've you know or any beef at all because most beef I, I I you know beef for me is a 20 hour sort of ordeal you know so any of that long 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 smoke stuff he just acts I, he, he'll act like he's a meth head like someone that's he, he like literally what I've been around a, I've rehabbed about three meth people in my life, right? I've I'm familiar with meth heads. He acts like that. <laughs> you getting all hyped up on freaking barbecue, Joe? What do you think's gonna happen? The goddamn dog. That, that <laughs> dog's sort of like I've never seen this kind of meat in my life. He's on the sofa back there. He's in the. <laughs> I think he's right in the hole here. Yeah. yeah, he is. He's right there in the hole. I can see him from here, but you can't see him from. <laughs> But he's <laughs> dude, if I was a dog, I'd be freaking out too. Holy crap. Yeah. But he gets he gets dude. so much meat, dude. 
Like we, you know, it, it, what happens when you actually barbecue and you actually trim your own meat, you actually butcher your own meat, you cut your own meat, you have a lot of trimmings. I just, I just, I just made another nine pound batch from the two briskets and so forth that I trimmed uh, to, to make, you know, this weekend's orders. Um, I took that meat and grinded it all. I trimmed it all, of course, and then I took those trimmings and cut them down and then grinded that all with probably a pound and a half of jalapenos, grinded that all. But he got some of that raw meat, man, and he was like, oh, oh, oh. you know what I'm saying? As long as it's beef, chicken, or poultry, he, he gets some. As long as it's not pork, and we do make a lot of pork, so he's learning, man. You know what I'm saying? But our chicken, our, our turkey, and our chicken is, trust me, just as good. Poultry and shit, you know, the poultry, chicken, and turkey doesn't photograph well, it doesn't look as dramatic or as inviting as, as beef or pork. Mm. But trust me, if you have some good smoked turkey, you're like, what the F, man? And I'm not just talking about mine. If you have some in your area, wherever you're from, you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll be quite surprised. No, Mark? I mean, Mark knows. You, you, you do these things. Do it, cook it right. It, it comes out tasty. Yep. It comes out insanely juicy, even cold. I give people some of my turkey cold, and they're just like, that's the best effing turkey I've ever had. I didn't know turkey was this desirable. Mm. And you mix it with my – I'm a pepper-heavy guy, very pepper-heavy. Uh, the differences will be my salt. My salt on my poultry is a lot less, obviously, than it is beef. And my salt will be less on my pork than it is the beef. And it's even less on the poultry. That's what you have to manage is the salt. But the pepper is the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the point where some people will think it's spicy. Um, but, oh, you put that on turkey. Oh, I, I haven't had anyone yet turn it down. I ain't trying to help you lose weight. So when I rest my, when I rest my turkey... It's with a stick of butter. And wrap that around in your head. I rest it. I don't cook it. I rest it with a stick of butter. Oy. And if you know what happens with vacuum sealing, I slice it. Slice it like a pencil. Number two pencil, right, Mark? Mark knows all about number two pencils. I slice it. The thickness of a number two pencil and then I vacuum seal all that melted butter, seasoned butter that's been with that turkey for about an hour and a half. Mm. I vacuum seal. And if you know what happens with vacuum sealing, vacuum sealing damn near instantly and permeates the meat. Yeah. It, 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 it's the nature of vacuum sealing. You can inject. Some people will take it and it looks just like a needle in your you're right. When it's raw, you're you're injecting. You can do that, or you can vacuum seal, and it instantly permeates the meat. And that's how I seal everything, right? And I put it back in the fridge, and I let it sit for at least twelve hours before I freeze it. So it's permeating back into the meat. Then I freeze it, and it gets shipped to you. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I, lo I love it. Still worldwide seeing Bum Tom and Mark log off and Jody still talking, but like that same guy that talks by himself in his own videos. <laughs> nobody ever around. Right. Same it, is talking about someone else talking. Yeah. Right. Talking about somebody else talking. They only talk to talking. Himself. Here's the guy that just a while ago talked to us about leaving. And, and goodbye to everybody because I'm getting intoxicated. Yeah, I'm back, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and now how much more intoxicated is this coach from the previous coach from about 15 years ago? Ah, I'm sober. I'm totally sober. I'm, sure. <laughs> I see I'm so sober. We're going to the bar, and I have to call a goddamn Uber. So <laughs> okay. They oh, said, Coach, so can you drive? I said, absolutely not. Let me call a goddamn I see, Uber. I see it in your left eye. Your left eye. Yeah. yeah. I it's see it. Twitching. Yeah. The, yeah, the other left, right? Yeah. How, how does this look now? Do I look sober now? <laughs> Do I look? You got it. If you just keep your eyes open, and then yeah. No officer. Officer, do I look? Do I look intoxicated now, officer? <laughs> Why are you pulling the handcuffs out? Am I being detained? What's right. Yeah. Are you giving me jewelry? Gifts? Is this gifts? Oh, look at that! <laughs> He's the pat down. Yeah. They're practicing, is that that's what that is. Yeah, practice. You know? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see what guy, we get. This, this dude can drink. I used to have a neighbor that could do a 30 pack a day. But but coach could drink. Dude, dude, I got okay. I'm not gonna I had a neighbor it. from Virginia that would he would literally drink 12 pack before 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 uh, he would drink a 12 pack before like 10 o'clock. In the morning. Oh, the, the 30 rack. We finished the 30 rack about an hour and a half ago. And then. The 30 rack? Yeah, 30 rack, 30 pack. 30 of beer. pack. And then John came over that goddamn barley wine and he insisted I have it. So I said, okay, oh, what? hold on, man. Oh, Here that was before the barley wine. <laughs> See, comes, I don't man. want to get drunk, but goddamn Andy supports this. I'm the only so I am the only sober one for the record. No, you're not. Look what you're carrying. No, clearly she's not, gentlemen. Look now, what she's carrying. Okay, coach, there's a guy that I watch that likes to make tacos. And he calls the stuff that Mandy had in her left arm water. So he's like, let me get some, let me hydrate, let me get some water. And he has like Bud Light Ultra. It's freaking hilarious. He's like, let me open another can of water. <laughs> I'll be right. <laughs> be <hydrated. laughs> and, then, and it's Bud Light Ultra. And then he's got the mariachis playing in the freaking background as he's making tacos. And I'm like, that's the person that is partying in back of my house here. I'll check back in an hour. You guys won't be here, but I expect, expect sure? the market to blow up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see you, Coach. Okay. Good luck. Good night. Good night. Yeah, thank Good you. Good luck. Yeah. Good morning. Good, luck. Good morning. Once again, stay safe, Coach. Yeah, 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 Bum, I didn't mean to cut you off. I did hear that, and I hung up. Thank you, Bum. Thanks for the concern. Yeah. Uber <laughs> saves a lot. Yeah, okay. right. Uber <laughs> By the way, you know what? On an on a Uber note, uh, Tom, you know, you mentioned it. So uh, Coachella is happening right now. You guys know that I... You, you might remember, maybe not, but I used to go to Coachella every night. Um, really? Well, sure. Every, that's what I moved to Phoenix for was to... Is it, is it in Phoenix? I thought it was in California for some reason. No, it's in California, but I would drive to Coachella okay. damn near every night. Damn near. If The next exit would have been Coachella. So the exit that I took off of I-10, you know... The next exit was Coachella. If you're coming from LA, one more exit would have been the exit that I took to swap traders with the people from LA. You know what I'm saying? So it was yeah. right there. It's not like well, so, it, you, so you weren't actually going to Coachella. Not actually. You know, it's pretty <laughs> super technical, but I, I could have spit and I'd have been there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it was it's right there. So you're getting all the essence, in other words. But my point is last year's you know, Coachella is happening right now, is my point. Mm -hmm. And you know, so for anybody that keeps record things, last year's Coachella, Uber, you mentioned Uber, was offering helicopter rides from LA to Coachella. Yeah, I heard something about that. Right? I don't know yeah. if they're doing the same thing this year or not. But good lord, can you imagine how much that ha it was literally for for people that can afford it, right? Yeah. There's a certain amount of commas and zeros that are after the commas that that that. Well, that, it could be it probably a thousand dollars, probably. Right? Oh, it was way more. Now. Oh, five, it was five grand at least. Five grand. <laughs> it was 
way more yeah. than that. It it was it was a few grand per minute or some BS like that. Yeah, it was. Oh really? Jesus. Christ. Oh dear. Well, you're going God. you're going pretty quick. In a minute, you could probably go probably what thirty miles. And it's it's a lot farther than that from Coachella to LA, even via helicopter. Honestly, that's a couple it, hundred it, miles. That's a couple hundred yeah. miles. I think Which it's like, like an hour. Like, 40, it's like a forty-five. That's an almost an hour helicopter flight. Yeah, I think well. it, uh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I think well. it's an hour to ride via helicopter. Honestly. Yeah, helicopters go about two hundred miles an hour, probably. Yeah. yeah. So you know. Yeah, I don't know if they're doing it this year or not, or if you guys. There's a lot of streams right now, live streams from Coachella, uh, Co Coachella, Coachella. Any anybody at all keeping up with what's happening at Coachella? Zero interest yeah. in Coachella. Yeah. Okay. Zero, less than zero. I will be yeah. watching tonight, yeah. though. That's for sure. That's You'll be a, watching. What? That's an overpriced festival for people with too damn much money and no and no life. How about that? For sure. What's funny is, you know, there's a lot of people there that have no damn money. You know what I'm saying? They save and they scrimp and, you know, yeah. uh, just to go there. Like for I the said, no life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or just trying to get noticed by somebody or. It's yeah. legalized camping for three days. Yeah. In the middle of the desert. And by the way, it's 94 degrees here, and it's about to hit 100 here in a few days. Yeah, Jesus. It's that. That's the that's the weather we have here. I don't know what the weather's like in your area, but it's about yeah. to be up here already. It's about to be triple digits. We're hitting pretty hot out here. It's about 50 to 60 degrees. Burning out here. It's burning hot. <laughs> yeah. the sun is I love it. Pretty hot. The sun I is love hot. it. It, it's it's freaking great because you know we live in different areas of the country and it's great to get those perspectives right like when we're you know when, when you guys are like damn near zero you know we're hitting below 70 here which is our zero right it's like what are you, are you freaking kidding me we're we're like below 70 here this is nuts we're 20 degrees below 70 right now Right, anything around fifty is is twenty degrees below seventy here. Right, but I I can definitely see why people complain when it's under certain like sixty or fifty five out there because you're so used to it. Your body's temperature is so used to hundred degrees that when it drops, it's fifty degree drop is a lot. Yeah, that's whatever you're used anywhere, to. Anywhere, yeah. anywhere you live, fifty yeah. degree drop is a lot. Here in Atlanta, if it gets if it gets below fifty, people start really getting worried about yeah. about it being cold the bones yeah. start hurting yeah yeah, yeah. The, <clears throat> the roommate can't even take 60 i swear on god I, it it was it, it dropped to a low of 63 she was like i gotta go inside i i it's <laughs> freezing out here was it you, you think i'm kidding about the 70 degrees move here and you'll find out I am windy not out sure. there. Windy huh? at all? Or is it windy or just straight temperature? It, it, it'll be windy, but you're like, this feels great. Like yeah, you're, think you're, you're thinking in your mind, okay, you're, you're like, it's literally 63 degrees. It's windy. Yeah. But it couldn't feel better. I'm in a tank top and shorts. You know how it is. You're spreading the legs. You're letting the wind blow through your balls. It's, yeah. It feels great. Yeah. And, and she'll be freezing. I got, I got to go inside. I'm like, this, this couldn't feel any better. That's this the is, perfect temperature for a robe and some slippers. And this is why we move here, Weather. What are you talking about? <laughs> but she grew up there. Yeah. She grew up. Oh, in the area, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So anything below 60 is like winter for her. Yeah. yeah oh! That's, yeah. that's it, her it's, worst time. <laughs> Tell her to come over to Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah, I guess some February weather. Yeah, yeah. Winter. yeah. Right? I mean, can you fathom this bum? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's all talk about hangover Sundays. It's it's so foreign to people. Winter grass. Is this a is this a foreign con is that the first time you've ever heard of such people, a people people do out they out here they do uh put a seed down for the winter so when, Oh, do they? Oh when the, okay. spring, when the spring does happen, 
it's ready. No, but he's talking about people actually growing grass in the winter. We get, we get winter yeah, grass we here. Yeah. We don't the actually grass stays grow winter The grass stays like the fescue and the, the bluegrass stays yes. green all winter. Okay. Yeah. The Bermuda and stuff goes dormant like in October and comes back up in May. Mm -hmm. But see, I wasn't used to that in New Mexico. People cut their grass. People cut their grass year round here. Yeah. Okay. If it's, okay. If it's they, like bluegrass or prep, whatever. They yeah. prep out here. Yeah, we don't have it here in winter. Right. You're getting ready for the next season where it's supposed to get green, right, Tom? Yeah. 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 You're you're prepping. I'm used to that. I'm not used to Okay, would you, you know, because my landscaper will ask you, and you pay extra for this, winter grass. I'm like, wait, what? You I'm know? In Arizona. Wow. I remember the first time I was approached with this when I bought my house. I'm like, what? What, <laughs> what did you say? You know? Winter, what? Why would I want this? And why would I pay you money for this? But I did. I have. It looks great. Now, now I, I don't have real grass at all. I have fake grass, which is you pay one time and you're done. Right? Does it have the beads, the black beads? I do. Yeah. Oh, it does. Mm. I say. I I'm sorry, not the black bees. Time. I don't have black bees. They put some kind of um, sand or something. All right, that's better than yeah. That's probably better. The black beads are rough. Oof. I don't, well, I don't the have rubber. Black the rubber, yeah. yeah. And then one thing that anymore. I didn't know about artificial turf is that well, of course, because out here the sun is very, very strong. You can imagine. I didn't realize there was this stuff you have to put on your windows that will reflect back onto the grass and melt it. Mind you, mm. I live in an environment where it does get 120 degrees and the sun will reflect off your windows. It made sense when they were explaining it to me, but you don't know if they're necessarily wanting to sell you something. But the guy was like, no, no, you can go on Amazon and order this stuff, but we won't warranty it until we verify you've at least installed it on your windows. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I had no idea. And yeah, so if you get artificial turf, even if you're in Florida, I'm seeing on some of the YouTube videos, you, you need to install this stuff because it can you know the reflections off of your windows are a lot like a magnifying glass and mm. it can melt your artificial turf i i had no idea it's pretty easy to install actually um you know pretty inexpensive so i ended up doing it for i'm gonna, a I'm gonna go research artificial turf for my friend yeah garden. research it oh. See you guys next week, man. All right. We'll see you later. Okay, Mark. See you next week. Later, Bye, Mark. Tom. Bye, Coach. Happy Hangover Sunday, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good oh, Okay, Bum. What, where are we at, man, with the videos, my man? I'm sorry. Uh, hang on here. I got to text somebody. Hey, I can oh. just imagine when you're in Arizona, like if it's 120 degrees, in your shopping and you have any type of anything yes. in your car that can go bad yes. you gotta rush home unless you have an ice something ice in your Every, car everybody or, carries yeah. some sort of cooler some yeah. sort of thing because if you're out shopping you have to get ice cream home what are you gonna do you're screwed yeah it's a freaking smoothie by the time it's, it's a milkshake by the time you get home <laughs> it's if it's it, like it, legit it, it, yeah honestly it, you, you know, when it's 115 outside and it's that all the time in summer. So, it, when you are getting delivery, that is a plus, right? Because they are keeping it. Do they know you notice when they keep it cold when you do get delivery? Or is it I, I, I ordered when I ordered delivery, I order for morning delivery. So, let's say I was ordering right now, I'll order for tomorrow morning's delivery if it was in July. Yeah, that way I have a, because that person more than likely is not cooling. So oh, I, really? order, if I'm gonna order ice cream or something like that, yeah, or I just flat don't order ice cream. Yeah, can't any dairy at all, mm -hmm. any frozen products at all, right? 
unless it's refrigerated. Frozen, you could, sure. Just ice cream, you got to be careful about. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Frozen, you could. Let's say you're getting frozen meat. You're good. If of uh, I might be getting frozen ribs or uh, briskets or large cuts of meat, that's going to be fine for a little while, right? Yeah, it takes a while to defrost. Yeah. Espe- so most, most people here carry a cooler in their trunk or in their back seat or in the back of their SUV. And you'll just throw that frozen meat at the bottom or however you wish to carry it. And then your other stuff on top of it or underneath of that big chunk of frozen meat. And mm-hmm. that'll keep the rest of it cold. Right? Uh, yeah. But it starts with... You learn pretty quick, you know, when you move here. So let's say you were going to buy ice cream. You make sure to buy a big chunk of meat. <laughs> yeah, or buy a bag of ice with it. Right. You best do something. You got to yeah. learn quick. You learn the first time. First time you ruin all of your food, ruin right. the stuff that you bring home that you paid for. You're gonna realize. Mm-hmm. You're gonna Unless you're going straight home, like let's say you live like I. I live two and a half miles from, you know, a handful of grocery stores here. So unless I'm going straight home, trust me, man. If it's 115 outside, it's probably 125, 130 in your car. You get your gas before you go, right? So you don't go to your gas station. Yeah, you're not you're making any stops. You're not doing any of that. Yeah. Uh, because, man, it, 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 it'll blow your mind how fast that stuff will thaw if you don't have a cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You I could you, you could put the ice cream in the back seat or in the front seat, wherever you put it. Even if you're going straight home. I live 2.5 miles from a lot of my grocery stores. Even in that amount of time, putting in your warm ass car, you turn on the AC. My AC is barely getting cold by the time I get home. Um, it'll be half melted if you don't have a cooler. These comments, these comments are absolutely absurd today. They're talking so much shit. <laughs> the by the time. way, for, this is an all time high. 418 comments during this malt liquor report. We're not even done yet. What do you got? The whole time. Talk so much heat. Well, you know what? Since Mark is gone, we uh, do not click click the next link. Uh, We will save that for next week. We will just finish off with this post from uh, Moeller. Okay. My apologies, my friend. I got a little long in the tooth there. Let's see here. Oh! <laughs> oh, dear God, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I wish I looked like that. <laughs> oh, my God, right? Yeah, that's wishful thinking on both our parts. Hell, we both lost some weight. Bum got Bum got the better end of the deal. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know about that. Did he get the better end of the deal? I don't know. Well, I lost some weight. Bum looks slim and trim. He just happens to be catching a little extra meat. Yeah. Uh, whoa! <laughs> yeah, didn't get the better end. I don't think so. <laughs> well, there's compromises, right? There's compromise. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Who's, who, it, who are they is, supposed is, to is be? A better compromise, bum, to to have abs that look like that. Is that is that a worthwhile compromise? I don't know. Some trade offs are questionable. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Even There's, even on even on this side, Tom, I I'm not sure if that's worth it. It's right? not worth it. There's no. a yeah. There's a price to pay for everything. I'm yeah, not willing to work out, work out, to work out something else. You know what I'm saying? Even, even the one with the bikini, bikini top, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's Mike May. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure about any of these compromises, man. Yeah. A little too close. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little too happy yeah. about it. You gotta tell Fat Joe no. That's what Vegas says. Malt Mustang and Joe Docs at the craft beer convention. 
<laughs> Bum was in a hotel room down the street from Joe D last Saturday night. <laughs> the comments here are worth worth going over, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know. That that's kind of funny cuz that old school uh, that those are glasses from many you know what's funny you know what's really funny when you look at it that's how old those glasses are because check it out that when you when you look <laughs> back at the at the uh picture from me and yeah. those are the same glasses so that's at least at least from 2016. wow because I started ordering from Zenny not too long after that. It might have been the very next year I ordered from started ordering glasses from Zenny.com and uh, never stopped after that. I've got poof, I've got so many glasses now from Zenny.com. Many, many glasses. I've got I got glasses I don't even dream of wearing online i've got three right now surrounding me right now pairs of glasses i don't pay more and i wear bifocals for christ's sake oof because i'm north of 50 i i i, I don't pay more than 36 dollars for, for bifocals i got many 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 different designs at this point because they're so inexpensive from zenny.com Zenny should sponsor me for Christ's sake. I, you know how many people I've turned over to Zenny over the years. Mm. I, I've turned over so many people to Zenny.com. Their customer service is, eh, but their glasses are inexpensive. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, sure. You know, it, I, I mean, you could spend you could spend more if you want to. There's right. a lot of add-ons and stuff, but if you just yeah. want bare bones. You can yeah. spend 35, 40 bucks easily on this pair of glasses. My okay, if you're gonna go with Zenny.com, my suggestion with eyeglasses is not to get any of the option. Yeah. Be mm -hmm. mindful of what they include, is what I will tell you. Be very, very mindful of what they include with your initial set of glasses. Right? And, and, and with that information, then be conscious of what you're trying to and willing to pay extra for. Yeah. And you'll realize that what they include is a lot. So why pay more for what they already <laughs> include? Yeah, you'll, you'll spend you'll spend one hundred and fifty dollars on a glass that you thought you were spending 30 bucks on. Right. There you go. To, Tom. Thank to you. Get, to get thinner, just to get thinner, thinner glasses like the the the. the you know what I mean? Yeah, that's an extra thirty-five, forty dollars, and then the and one thing I wish I did get was the anti glare. Next time I will get anti glare. Yes, the anti glare it, is definitely worth it. It is worth um, it. I didn't get it. I get the anti glare with every pair that I order now. Now it's it's totally a personal preference. If you're willing to pay for all this stuff, then pay for it. Mm. But what I suggest to people is get the bare bones. For the first one, yeah, the first one you're gonna get. They have they they have very mixed reviews on customer service, so just be willing to eat that first pair of glasses, okay? But what that will do is give you a, a guide for how how their measurements work, right? So however those first initial set of glasses fit, then you can kind of go from there. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's mostly yeah. that PD, that that width from the center of your eyes, that PD yeah. measurement, that that means a lot. So and, after and much, if you ahead. do, guys, if, if, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you next week, okay? Okay. All we'll right. you, um, thank you. All right. Catch you next week. Later, later, Bum. If you do go to the, if you do go get your eye test, just ask the doctor for the PD number. Yes. Ask, ask whatever the hell they call themselves. Ask them for them. They ask for it there. Because so we get the exact. That's the best way to do it. 441 comments during the monthly report, by the way. That's an all time record. 
It is yeah. super high. A lot of sh- a lot of shit talking the whole time. That's Holy right. crap! The whole. <laughs> What what was this? Oh, this is funny. 2016, Joe D was in a Bible bo- Bible boy band. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus. burger What was this question? That's freaking hilarious, man. I'll be right back. I gotta go recycle some Diet Coke. All right. Yeah, sure, based. Yeah. That's what you yeah. That's what your mother tells your dad. I don't know if you guys have tried these. Excellent. The Arizona Hards. They are a good time. I'm just seeing them today for the first time. They are excellent. The Mucho Mango, the Watermelon with Bomb. I might have to grab another one of these. Coffee. What coffee? Do they have coffee? Oh, Cafe Bustello, not bad. It's uh it's 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 good if you um if you realize your coffee's weak and you want to add a little bit in there. Definitely helps. Coffee Cafe Bustello. You have a Cafe Bustello? Yes, actually. Very, very um, simple. Uh, the vacuum sealed pack is what I have here. Um, yeah, Neck Bone says uh, Cafe Bustello. Right they here. do say that you're supposed to add it with cold water first. If you do, the proper really? way is right. I can't. Uh, for some reason, you're cutting out. Am I cutting out? Can you hear me now? Well, now I can hear you, but yeah, that was weird. All of a sudden, you cut out. My headphones might be croaking soon. I'm not sure. So, what were you saying? For the, the you add the cold, and then you're supposed to add the amount that you, it's a little bit of cold water because it'll just dissipate, and then you add it to your hot your hot drink, your, your the hot water. I don't I, now. I have the. the hot uh, I have the the type that you just you know standard brew. Oh yeah, no. This is the uh, instant. I mean, I'm talking about the instant. Okay. Yeah, this one because they do sell the regular coffee grounds. Yeah, because I, yeah. I have the one that comes in a ten ounce. I'm pretty sure ten or twelve ounce vacuum sealed pack yeah and then and then we put it in our our machine and it brews a pot um and that that's that's how that's how we consume it oh here we go holy f joe d is huge yeah well come on man you didn't know that before give me a break I'm it's strong the, as uh, AF. Yeah, it's strong. Of course it's strong. The foil pack, dog. Enjoying the hard hard sells the they used to just do the lemonade. Oh, wow. And then the um I've seen these first time today. Watermelon. And then the mucho mango. I didn't I didn't know they were doing hard how many ounces is yeah. is that twelve? Yeah, the twelve ounces are like a but it's a tall. Uh, yeah, they they, they sell the. They, they first started off with the. the now they do the green tea. Yeah. The big green, big cans of green tea. And then they did the. They have the lemonade one, or the half and half one, and then some other one. I saw these today. And I was like, they look pretty good. I wonder. You, you know, let, let me try hey, this. Wow. Let me try this alternative. Oh, I can't do it now that we're live. I was gonna try the mobile. Now that it's just me and you, I was gonna try to switch it. Don't to work. Mobile. Yeah, not not while we're live. The 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 haritos are bomb too. I've never I've never had those, but the um what's the name of the 
40 ounce cauliflower. What's their regular uh, name for the soda? Is it it? Because I know they have the Jaritos is a different name for the alcohol version. I, I don't know. Honestly, the, uh, I don't buy it. Oh, you don't buy that kind of stuff? Well, just because, you know, I, I drink a lot of diet, no sugar, and that doesn't come necessarily like that. Yeah, these are probably packed. My, my blood sugar is probably going through the roof. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I they, don't. They're, they're tasty. Though. They're not that bad. It honestly tastes like there's no alcohol in it, which is scary. Because if a little kid got one of these in their hands, well, can't the Ritos, Rios. Is the you know Jaritos the sodas? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cantarios is the alcoholic version. They sell a, they sell it in twelve packs. Yeah, I'm not. I, I honestly don't buy many pre mixed things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do like the teas and stuff though, the non carbonated stuff, because mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes carbonation messes up my stomach. Interesting. Really? Sometimes, yeah, because if I drink too much carbonation, I'll, I'll just feel it in my stomach. It's okay. Too too this is interesting. You know why? Because I've been mixing this Crown Royal uh, salted caramel with Diet Coke during this whole show. I'm, I am up to uh, four different cans at this point. Uh, very sweet. That'll probably go right through. Very you. sweet. Oh, my God. Amen. Super sweet. Oh, yeah. Um, no ice, no nothing, as you know. I've, I've Oof. a few times now. Um, and these cans have now sat out here. I'm now on my last can. And I'm pouring right now another eh, ounce plus ish. You know, uh, it's probably, you know, I can tell you one thing that's probably good with mm. milkshake. Make a nice milkshake and throw a little bit of that in there. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be real Ooh. good. You're right. Oh. Nice caramel milkshake. I don't oh. know many things that this salted caramel wouldn't go well with mm -hmm. at this point. Um, I mean, it won't go with like juice and stuff, but like anything. I, I got to admit, if you've not had, we, we tried at this point, and we're, we're almost done with that fifth at this point. Um, if you've not had some sort of coffee tequila, that coffee tequila my sister sent me is is almost done. Uh, we we've mixed it with everything you could possibly mix it with. There's not a damn thing that it doesn't mix with. <laughs> it's so effing good. Okay, so all this is tequila. If you, I mean, not tequila. Dear God. All this is salted caramel. I don't know if you can even see. That's that. a pretty big pour, though. That's that's probably that's a double. Yeah. Probably. You know what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a little more into it. Um, this is I a mean, coke size pour. No judging. You're at home. You're at home. Yeah, I'm. A, I ain't going anywhere. That's yeah. for sure. I'm gonna go from the office here, where you can see this fine living I have, um, <laughs> to to the home theater, and that's where I'm going. Going from here to there, I think I can make it. Mookie will probably follow me. I'm going to catch up on what the Dodgers are doing. You know why I have to catch up, Tom? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Oh, they're actually um, winning. They're losing. Because they're having a blackout game with the Padres. For some reason, it's always the Padres that the Dodgers are blacked out on the MLB package. It's it's. Oh. A, now tomorrow I'll be able to watch it. To, I'll be able to watch the third game of the series um, on ESPN. For some reason, the first two games of the series I won't be able to watch, even though I pay for the MLB package. It freaking is a total. It, it, it. I'll be bitching about this the whole season. I use the very legal way. I use the legal way. On my computer. Me too. The legal way. I try. Yeah. I, 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 I am too. Trust me. I have an illegal way to let me watch every single game. I don't give a goddamn. Yeah, wink, I'm saying wink, wink, but I'm using the, the legal way. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm trying the legal way. 
and I'm trying not to just and even the illegal way I pay, but trust me, it's half the money. Yeah, when I, I say illegal way, I mean the opposite, but that's what I, <laughs> that's what I'm I can get every single game no matter what. I don't have any yeah. blackouts. The problem is though, doing it the legal way this year, they're offering so much that it it, it, it I, I lose out on a lot going the other way you know yeah. what i'm saying i only get the dodger game i'm not getting and you know you keep up with sports like i do right now Ile, uh uh della uh who is it rosa or you know from the reds i like oh, watching awesome. this. tall tall dude very fast yeah. yes yeah. he's very fast. He's a electric, this kid. This kid is hitting 450, hitting wow. in the field park home runs. This kid is insane. Is he already doing it in the park? Yes. Wow. He's hitting 450 on one at bat and then in the park home runs on another at bat. You know why? Because he takes four steps and he runs the bases. It's insane. Yeah, this he's a long stride. Uh, Ila de la Cruz, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Ila, Ila de la Cruz. He is I was a, trying to buy his rookie car last year, but it was just. Oh, this kid, he, he's worth watching, man. You know, mm. you know what? If you're if you're a Cincinnati fan, God bless you. I've I've you know right in right now MLB package. It's, what is the MLB package? 140 a year or something like that. Anyway, it's not horrible. It's not. Honestly, it's not. Um, and and right now, what they're offering is you can get this multi-view this season. It, they didn't have it last season. I can put four games on the screen at the same time. And so as the Dodgers go to commercial, I'll have the Reds game up. And I'm keeping, I'll go to the Reds game while the Dodgers at commercial. I can still keep an eye on the Dodgers game. I can make the Reds game big. And I'm like, oh, what the? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll get a player that's at bat or a particular pitcher I'm not necessarily into uh, from the Dodgers. And so when that pitcher's up, I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep an eye on LA, you know, Dela Cruz. I'm going to keep an eye on him if he's at bat because the guy's electric, man. He's entertaining as hell. You never know what he's going to do. Yeah. No. And actually, $140 for that is really when you, re you think, oh, it's 140 because you have to pay it once. You're like, ah, 140 bucks, or I won't drop 140 bucks on this. Yeah. But then it's like, it's really not much. It's really, you're watching more than 140 games, you know. And and that and that's what I tell the roommate all the time. And I'm like, you know what, man? I, I bitch about the blackouts. You're getting you're getting a lot of entertainment out of 140 dollars. Yeah. Like you could go out and spend 140 bucks on a meal, in yeah. one night. Oh, oh, please! It's, it's gone. It's you, gone. You, you know more. You know this more than I would, because yeah. you're eating out more than I do. Yeah. But you know, we don't eat much out in this. We don't really, honestly, we try to cook in as much as possible. But we do, though. We go out once in a while. Nemo's saying soda is expensive now. You know what, man? You know so, what, Nemo? I buy, I buy as many of these 12 packs as they let me during their big sales. They'll have these sales where you buy two 12 packs. Of Diet Coke, let's say, and you get three free. No way. Oh, yes. That's a deal. Yeah. So you're good. getting five 12 packs of, of canned beverages. So for every four you buy, you get six free. That's yes. a deal. Yes. That's, it's, That's it's like, why it's, it's like, it's a money. What you're getting is eating up what you're, what you're saving yeah. is eating up what you're getting. And then they'll have these sales where you're getting a 30 pack of beer. For seventeen dollars, or sometimes for sixteen fifty. Yeah. How am I not going to buy the max that I can buy? Some stores will only let you buy one thirty pack. Some will let you buy two, and some will let you buy three. It just mm -hmm. depends on the sale. 
whatever the max is that I can get, she'll get her limit and I'll get my limit. And then she'll she'll uh, inquire from one of her kids and then we'll buy their limit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you do yeah. notice, though, that the, the smaller the cans and the smaller the bottles, the more expensive it is. Have you noticed that? If well, you try to get very small six packs, you ever seen the small six packs? They're yeah. probably like six ounces each. Those are like those are like six dollars a piece. The six beers six. that I like to get, honestly, are the Coors when they have the screw cap. I I I forget oh, yeah, the, all those aluminum screw cap. The, um, yeah, bottles. Those are those, those, those are phenomenal because I can drink a, I can drink as much as I want and then screw the cap back on. And, yeah. Oh, they usually come in a nine pack of I don't know what are they sixteen ounces or something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Th- yeah, those are pretty cool because they do keep carbonation when you screw it when you screw it closed. It's like a soda. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are cool. Yeah, because sometimes all I want is a couple of drinks. I can screw it back on, and it's good to go. You know. Yeah, yeah that's uh, the thing about a beer. It's like you drink it, and if you don't want to, you don't want to waste it. So you either drink it or you dump it out. So it's like you're actually saving money in the long run if you have a beer that you can screw close and it stays cold. You know what I mean? Like you're still drinking it no matter what. I don't drink it. I just see the displays all the time. A 12 pack is eight to nine bucks some places. That's cheap. And then uh, Gangster Bro says aspartame. Mm. Yeah, it's not good for you. But I mean, hey, nothing's good for you nowadays. What the hell's good for you, man? It's not even healthy to breathe the air that we're breathing. <laughs> so you what? might as well. There's people out there smoking cigarettes until they're 105. Like, honestly, like, live your life. Look, there, look you do the best you can. Is the way I look at it, right? Do the best you can, but live your life and enjoy it at the same time, right? Yeah. You got to have fun. Use your own discretion, but live your life. Come on. I can get, you know what? Listen, listen, I I hope to not, but I could die in a car accident or by some stupid mass shooter tomorrow. I have no idea. I have no idea, honestly, Tom. We have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, mm. right? So why not enjoy some salted caramel? Uh, yeah, there you go. Crown Royal a day. What it today with some uh, diet coke, aspartame. Today, I have no idea. Yeah. Is it? Is it, it? It's that. It's that balance, right? You know. It's the, it's that I mean, struggle, but it's like you're you, say you you you're a diet coke drinker. You drink a lot of diet coke and aspartame, but you also cook right. your own foods. You cook your own food at home. You eat healthy at home. You know what to eat. You, you feed yourself well, and, and then if you were drinking aspartame and then eating just McDonald's all the time and Burger King, that's a different story. I literally, just, you know what? Since you mentioned that, I I personally literally consume. 90% of everything I eat as far as food is something I made. Yeah. That's, Even that's ground right. beef. I grind my own beef. I grind my own meat. I, I, yeah. I, I, I it, the overwhelming majority of food that I eat is something I made. And that's the thing about like you, you, you're also starting a business, yeah. but then you're also like bringing it into your personal life too. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like you're not also selling, but you're also eating what you yeah. are making. So it's just like you're able to eat better, also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also is- a large percentage of the business so far is local pickup. I have not had to shit much, which is helpful to me That's because for those that don't know, you can look at my shipping prices. I will ship food to you. It'll I did look cool. it up. I went on your website just to check everything and see everything to see how much it would cost. And I was like, yeah, probably not right right now, but right. it's, 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 um, some of the, honestly, your stuff, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's reasonable priced. 
if you're willing to pay the shipping, it's a reasonable yes. price. I I will ship food to you, and trust me, as I know the shipping's expensive, and that's why I eat half. I'm not kidding you. I eat half of that shipping cost. So whatever the shipping is to you. Oh, really? There's so another that cuts, into your, that cuts into your profits. Yes. I'm not you're not seeing you're not seeing the cost of everything. I'm I this office right now, I know you can't see it. So why don't you just raise the prices up by like ten percent and then or maybe five percent. For now I'm not. No. For now I'm not. Because instead uh, of cutting taking half of it, take like ten percent, fifteen percent. I'm 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 okay with where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um if if, it's, if it's I honestly the took, took this virtual screen off, this is my shipping room. <laughs> so you would see all the shipping material around me right now. I'm surrounded by uh insulated shipping, shipping boxes, shipping labels. Uh, I have right now my stamps with my logo on it. I have, oh my God, I have labels upon <laughs> labels for shipping. This is our shipping room, if you will. Anything to do with shipping, I have my printing machines over here. I have, um, yeah, anything to do with shipping something is in this room. Yeah. Honestly, are you, are you going to pay for any advertising on Facebook or anything when you do start? No. Like really going? Are you just kind of going to go? Or no, we're going there? now. We're going now. I just don't. Um, well, I know you're going, but it's like once you start paying for advertising, it really pumps. Yeah, because like, you're kind of like reaching to different audiences. I'm. I'm. I, uh, you don't want to reach too early, right? From, from what I have found out is that most people, no charge, that have a barbecue business like I do, eat part of the shipping. It's just yeah. so costly. Um, I have seen it. Now that you've been doing it, I have seen a couple others. I don't know. I forget the names, but I have seen a couple others that resemble what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do advertise all, I, all I've done is mimic what other barbecue startups have done. Yeah. Um, modeled towards something that fits me, but I've I've just modeled it after what they're already doing. And and trust me, we all eat part of that cost. Um, you're literally not paying for any of the cost of of uh, any of the shipping materials that I pick up. Um, yeah. Any of the cost of that shipping to me, any of the cost of any of it, any of it, all you're paying for is part, trust me, part of the actual shipping cost from UPS or the postal service well, or FedEx. Uh, the, the only way to really bring that down is to pay by bulk of what you're making, right? I, I or, will get uh, now how it works. Okay, on my end, just to give you an inside baseball sort of perspective, the more business I do, the more discount UPS will give me, FedEx will give me, and the post office will give me. Oh, really? Yes. So also, the more you the more I do, the bigger discount they give me, then. I can make more money if they give me a discount. I'll still charge the same shipping. Yeah. You won't see any difference in price, but I'll be able to make more money. So that that's when it kicks in. If you if you're shipping out twenty five instead of five orders. Yes. Thank you. Then yes. you'll definitely you'll definitely see fifteen, twenty five percent difference. And that will cut in that will Which cut it in makes sense to you. That, that part will make sense to you because um, the more business I do, this will make sense to you because the more business I do, then I'll get the food service companies. If, yeah. I, if I get to a certain level, they'll deliver to me. 
if they deliver to me, I can order more often from them yeah. at a cheaper price for the cuts of meat that I need, for the quality that I need, instead of having yeah. to pick it up. Yeah, you when, when, they, when they see that you can turn around, turn around these these yeah. these meats really fit quick, and then you're able to pay for these meats also, right? They're willing to. They're willing they to have a minimum. Them. Everybody has a minimum. Are you eat like like a Cisco or something like that, right? You can do yes. this, like yes. a Cisco or like a a brand like that. They have a minimum, twenty cases from Cisco. I'll tell you right now, twenty cases. Holy crap! Yes. Is that is that how many briskets a case? Uh, four to five. Oh, so you're doing a hundred at a time, basically. There you go. Yeah, that'll um, give you a perspective on it. <laughs> but that that cuts costs a lot. A lot. Right, there you go. In, in that so when you see diet. someone on Instagram or you see someone's yeah. video and they're getting a, a a food service delivery, they're at a particular level already that I'm yeah. that I will take a while to get to. That's restaurant style. That, that, that's, yes. Oh, yeah. And 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 being on this side of it because I'm I also work for a trucking company that delivers to Cisco. Right, we deliver to Cisco every day, several times a day. Quite frankly, we deliver stuff to Cisco so they can deliver to people like me, which is funny, right? But I'm on all sides of it, right? Um, so I kind of I get it. I, I don't argue with it. I have a rep from Cisco. Now that we're speaking of it, I have a rep from Cisco. I have a rep from U.S. Foods. If you're familiar with U.S. Yeah, Foods. they have a U.S. Cisco and U.S. Foods, and then they have um, out here they have um, Gordon's. Gordon's is out here, okay, and then regional, sure. Yeah, yeah, they have. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah, there's a ton of food service people. So, but but they all have a minimum to get a delivery. Is what I'm do talking. You pay, about. Do you have to pay a membership, or just the minimum is just that way of getting in? No, no, no. No, all you need, all the requirements are is to have a business. So the minute you can show them a business, uh, a taxpayer license, a taxpayer yeah. ID, you have a business and they, they'll give you a membership, right? They create an account and then you, right. and then you go from there. You have to buy this amount. In order membership. for delivery. Now, they a lot of them have, and this is what I'm getting into on the inside baseball thing, U.S. foods especially. A lot of us have live in a big enough metro area where we have a U.S. foods in our area. You may not know about it. I'm enlightening you on this, right? U.S. foods has a non-membership soda, and, and Nemo mentioned it here in the chat, soda shamrock. Shamrock's literally a, a, a regional network, a regional food service. U.S. foods, and you might have another one in your area, Tom. Mm -hmm. My point is some of these food service companies have something that you can shop in as an average consumer yeah. that doesn't cost you a dime. And yeah. you'll get Costco-like benefits, right? Warehouse club benefits. My, my dad used to ship like with no charge. My dad they used to work. Charge. My dad used to work for a company called Sorelli's. It was really small out of Brockton, and then they got bought out by Perkins. I don't know if you knew about Perkins. Yes, I do. Perkins. Perkins. He used to work for Perkins, and per he, that that was like a restaurant, like, like a like a depot in there and everything. And then Perkins got bought out by Gordon's. Okay. And Gordon, I think Gordon's might do something small like that, but not as much as Perkins did. I do go, I do have a membership right now at Restaurant Depot uh, to answer that question, uh, Nemo. The problem with Restaurant Depot is they don't necessarily have the quality that I could even get at a warehouse club, honestly, mm -hmm. on the cuts that I need. Um, for Costco, for example, um, Costco won't offer the quality that I need for my customers 
at your average warehouse. Okay, Tom, here's, here's where to take notes. What will happen with Costco that differ, diff, makes it different than Sam's Club? Sam's Club is more geared towards the business member than Costco is. Costco is more geared towards your average consumer. Mm. What Costco may offer in the Boston area that, that it don't offer in your more, your more smaller markets is a business center. What Costco is going to offer at their business center, and I promise you Boston has one because I've delivered to them, is things that you cannot even dream of at your regular Costco. When you go to the Costco business center, you'll get, you'll get offered things that you didn't dream that Costco offered. Mm -hmm. Now, Get your big credit card, my friends, because you're going to pay money for these things. But you did not dream Costco offered these things until you enter the business center. If you have a Maps app, if you have a Google's map or an Apple's map, type in Costco business center in your local area. If you live in a big market and you probably have one. And there's one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you go there, you'll be, you'll be amazed at the different cuts of Wagyu they offer, at the different cuts of lamb they offer, at the goat they're going to offer. I will give Costco that credit. As much as I like to bang on Costco, because I like to bang on Costco. I like to make people aware that your average warehouse club, your average warehouse Costco is expensive. I like to make people aware of that. Your business center is not necessarily so. Your business Costco is not necessarily expensive. If you know somebody like me currently that has a membership at a restaurant depot, and a lot of us in our average metro areas have a restaurant depot. Restaurant depot is based out of New York, but has many, 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 many warehouses in a lot of our metro areas. If you know someone like me that has a small business, I gave a membership to a lot of my wife's kids. Oh, woof. <laughs> oh, well, get yourself. A lot of my girlfriend's kids, <laughs> a lot of people I know, right, have also a Restaurant Depot membership because I have a membership there. I, I'm given a few different cards, and as long as I give those cards, that whoo. You caught yourself real quick. Damn it. It's on recording, oh. too, that I oh. said. No oh. one's around. So be good. Nothing with thrill or more. <laughs> Trust me. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> you said it pretty easily, too. It, it must have been the alk, 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 alk. Oh, what's that song? Yeah. The alk, 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 alk. The, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, the song when I was in high school, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I was Flow Rider or something like that. But just oh, as oh, okay, if you know someone that has a small business, they they more than likely have a, a membership to a Restaurant Depot. Restaurant Depot is phenomenal. Okay, um, when it comes to meat, though, they may not have the quality in the cut that you necessarily want if you for example if you're used to buying prime they may or may not have prime in the cut that you want mm. all the time okay you may have to go in the morning first thing they do offer a delivery service again depends on the quality the the quantity that you order will be your priority and all this sort of thing you, sometimes I, you gotta I, go early because people go early. People yes. they see the deals and they're like, "I'm going there real early." Everything open. Or sometimes you have to go late for the next day. Mm. You feel oh, me? They're getting, they're getting ready for the next day, late night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've run into that at Restaurant Depot quite a bit. It just depends. So, in 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 our market. Like like Nemo's mentioning, he's given people the tip of U.S. Foods has a store in Tempe. 
Restaurant Depot, there's two of them here. There's one in Phoenix. There's one in Mesa. You know what I'm saying? So depending on what store you shop at, there may also be also something that you didn't think of that services something that you need. For example, I frequently need dry ice. Uh. I'm going to give you an example. For shipping, think about it. I need, I'm shipping frozen food. I need dry ice every week. And I frequently need it on a Sunday. Guess what has dry ice all the time? And I, I'm going to go out of the box here. Think about my market. Where am I at? I am in southwestern United States. Where am I at? I'm close to Mexico. What, what is sold here a lot? Now, you may or may not know this. Mexican-style fruit popsicles are sold here a lot. Oh, yeah. Right? And they walk around with these little ice boxes that are just literally frozen by dry ice. So when you think about it like that, there's these little Mexican places that have crap loads of dry ice. Yeah. Every day of the week. Yeah, they have the people that ask. Right. You can't find dry ice, yeah. And so that's where I go for my dry ice for my shipments. Isn't that something? That's a good I honestly never thought of that. I never thought so you that you have to think dry. out of the box sometimes for certain things you need. I'll be right back. <laughs> the chat's hilarious. Actually, I gotta go bathroom too. Holy crap. Yeah, so for all those that don't, I don't know what the term is called for. It's a, it's a term for Mexican candy. Um, oh, I know what you're saying. In Spanish, it has a term. These places have that term attached to them. And that's how to find your dry ice. Now, they will also have everything that's affiliated now i do know the names in spanish for like a mexican snow cone or respada or respados depends on where you're at where you're from um so they'll have everything affiliated with that your different syrups your different cups your different this and that's right and those are delicious. Everything to keep those respadas or respados frozen, they have that. So that's where I go on a Sunday. So I ship, I ship all my stuff on Mondays or Tuesdays. So I am buying my dry ice on Sundays, and I go to those Mexican stores that require absolutely no membership. Anybody can walk into them. But that's how you have to think when you have a small business. Where can I go in my area that has when I need what I need when I need it? Yeah. And that's where you're going to save the most money. There's certain things that are in those places. Now, I don't speak Spanish. Now, I'm lucky my girlfriend does. She's insanely fluent in a few languages. I'm very fortunate that she does. But um, they have many different things as I've walked through those 
kind of mini warehouses, if you will. And I'm like, holy crap, they have this? They have that? I didn't realize they had this. I didn't realize they had that. That's a phenomenal price. While I'm here buying the dry ice, I think I'll just buy this here. Why not? Mm-hmm. You're anyway. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like you're networking your products. It's you know like what I'm saying? Yeah. And then some of them have been like, oh. And so, you know, I have a built in translator, thank goodness. And so some of them have become my customers and help promote my stuff in that community as well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so that helps things along as well. So and you're very you're you're very personable too, so it kind of helps a little bit. If you if you were just like a monotone dude walking right. around trying to sell his product, it wouldn't work. But you're kind of you're open about it, and then when they probably see somebody else can speak and translate, they see you're personable, it kind of op- probably opens up a little bit. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier to advertise like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm used to being in business. I do have other businesses, mind you, Jody Reviews and Jody Photography. Those have been businesses now for a long time. Um, so I'm used to that sort of thing. Um, do you? Oh, Nemo's asking, do you have airship everything? Um, I, I do two day shipping. Two day shipping is the max I will do. I will do no more than two day. Uh, that's pretty fast. Yeah, that's pretty fast, regardless, though. Right. So even if you, I, I think I may have an option. I don't. I don't even know if I have an option on the website anymore where you can pick more than than two day. A little hack on my site is that even if I do have an option for more than two day, you're going to get it in two days. I I, oh. I just I cannot ship longer than two days and guarantee that you're going to get it frozen. So even if I do have an option for longer than two days, you might as well pay it because I'm paying the rest of that cost. Because oh, I'm not. Someone else. <laughs> I'm willing to say it. That. Yeah. I'm willing to say it because I want you to have the food. I want you to have my product. That's why I'm willing to even pay it. Yeah. I want. That's how. That's how much I want you to have the food. Well, that's true. To, you got to pay up in the beginning to be able to mm-hmm. uh, make the money in the long run. That that's how convinced I am that that if if you're willing to order the sausage, mm-hmm. if you're willing to order my jalapeno cheddar sausage, if you're willing to order my turkey breast, my smoked turkey breast, if you're willing to order my smoked brisket, that's how convinced I am that this is the best you're going to have, or you're going to like it that much. That brisket was damn good. Holy I'm willing to pay. For part of the cost to get it to you, not all of it. Trust me, not all Yo, of that it. That brisket was real good. I was just, oh, <laughs> Thank holy you. crap! Put that thing inside the. I put the um, the whatever it is, the the the, the thing you shifted in the vacuum pail, that vacuum, whatever the hell it's called. I'm sorry, I've had a couple of drinks of me. Yeah, uh, sure. Threw it inside the boiling water. Let it boil. Let it threw it in there for about 15, 20 minutes. And you can smell the smokiness it's dispersing everywhere. And, oh man, that meat, that meat was real good. Holy crap, dude. I'm I I just it's you definitely- know those the two briskets that I had, I had uh, the order for uh as a matter of fact it was for a party. Uh two briskets, uh multiple pounds of smoked sausage, um something that I don't even have on the menu. Uh, is our um, pickled jalapenos and carrots. Um, I, I don't even have that on your menu. He requested that. Uh, that's something that I offer locally. Uh, so it's a special, may- special local thing. Yes. That's, a, that's, the, uh, that's the perks of being local. That's the perks of being local, yes. <laughs> I don't okay. know. I don't have it on the menu because I don't know that anybody's willing to pay. <laughs> Hey, people, people willing to pay. Hey, for the side, people willing to pay. Right. So there's pay. that. Um, and then maybe someone grew up with it. You know what I mean? Maybe that's something that they 
remember eating. One of the, one of the fresh offerings that I offer, I no, the fresh things I offer are the the chorizo. The chorizo you're gonna have to cook. You make sure that's 140 to 145 degrees. Uh, that's that's literally a raw product that's frozen. Um, you need to cook it. You have done the Cherise Bombay? The what? The, the Portuguese, they do the Cherise Bombay. No. They do the, um, it's like a little, it's like a little kayak thing you put the Cherise on top of. It's a small thing. See, maybe a little wider than the Cherise and you put a little bit of cachaça in there and you mm-hmm. light it up. It just cooks the Cherise and everything. It's good. Mm. Yeah, it's, okay. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's just another way of adding flame to your fire, but it's just with alcohol. Okay, well, what you do with this up to you now? I've, 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 had, I've had people send me different suggestions on what they did with the chorizo that I make, and I'm like, that's amazing, man! I wouldn't have thought of that, but that's freaking awesome that you did that, sure. and I appreciate it, you know. I wish you sent me better photos so I could post some of those photos. Uh, maybe a video or something, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I love what you did, but I need something so I can post. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, some of the feedback I've gotten on the Chiriso we make is pretty cool. Uh, that also sounds like a great idea. But yeah. um, this person also that picked up today, Mind you, he picked up at noontime, which is now seven hours ago, uh, my time. A couple of briskets, uh, a few pounds of smoked sausage, um, uh, some of our uh, pickled jalapenos and carrots. Um, uh, You know, if you ask, we can make things. So some of our... uh, ground uh brisket uh with jalapeno mixed in uh so you can make some smash burgers with some of our jalapeno all seeds added by the way so i don't know what the heat level will be uh literally not de-seeded at all uh so you will make you will make burgers I, I will make raw burgers and then you can yeah. cook them. Yeah, that that was that was the point I was getting to with the raw product. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, certain things I will make on request and and for a very reasonable fee. Not I'm not trying to, uh, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure if you added burgers, people would buy them. Do, is is a is a is a is a burger patty something you think you would order? I think they will. I think you'd be surprised because people that burger patty is something. It's universal. People eat burger patties all the time. It's just it's the same. You it's like sausages. People eat sausages all the time. People eat burger patties all the time. Now my it's, burgers, it's, the burgers that I do grind are 100% beef. They're 100% uh, brisket. If if I need more more meat, then I add uh, chuck roast, hmm. um, and that's all grind grinded right here. That's all butchered and grinded right here. And, and burgers are very easy. It's a it's pretty. I mean, it's not like something you got to explain how to cook. Yeah. You send it to them, and they like it's very universal. The, the one thing, the the one thing, and that's still in the testing stage. I I I made thirty pounds of it, yeah. uh, so I'm still waiting on all. I I need to get. Trust me, Tom. If you only knew how thorough I am on this stuff, I drive oh, the roommate nuts. About this stuff because I am insanely thorough. I, I'm anal. I'm anal. Well, you no, know, people paying for it. You, you want to make sure people get a product they want. I, I don't look at it any other way. I am super anal about it to the yeah. point where I drive my girlfriend nuts. I drive her nuts about it because you, I. You're like because you, th- you when people get that first bite, you want them to be like, oh, this was worth it. Like you don't want them to be like, ah, yeah. 
I don't want any bad experience whatsoever. Absolutely. Yeah. I, 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 it, it, for me, it, the importance is on the quality, right? So I'm waiting on all the feedback, but I, I do have a small batch. It's a 30 pound batch, whatever that means to you. But how many burgers does that make? No, 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 no. The same burgers. I oh. have a small batch of snack sticks out there, right? Which are similar to Slim Jim. Mm -hmm. Uh, really previous customers, if you're a previous customer, I uh, a previous local pickup customer, mind you, mm -hmm. I a lot of them have the snack sticks. The feedback I have gotten has been very positive. What's good about the snack sticks is I don't have to refrigerate them, I don't have to ship them frozen, <laughs> you yeah, know, they're, they're preserved in their own, yeah. So yeah. I can ship those any day of the week. I'm not worried about. So the shipping will be cheaper. Everything will be cheaper about them. I, I need to get more feedback on them. Um, but that's a possible product that we might. Because I've been asked about jerky. And I'm like, well, jerky, I don't know. But snack sticks, Slim Jims are something yeah. we might offer. Um if I do, I promise you, if you don't like spice, you're not going to like it. I, I am I am a pepper-heavy guy. I believe that snack sticks should be slightly spicy. Well, you're living in a, you live in a good area for spicy. Yes. You live in a great area. But if you if you just ship to, like, uh, Wisconsin or something like that, maybe not. Well, then you will like spicy. You know what I'm saying? Better. A label that, that, should, that, should, that, that should be the name of them. You better like spicy, yeah, or something, something in there, something saying about you better like spicy because yeah. you'll know, hey, they're gonna be spicy, like, right? Expect yeah. it because, and then some people might be like, oh, these aren't as spicy as I thought, and then some people might be so, like, hey, these are these spicy. I just, I just, I, I, I mean, I just got this sucker Wednesday talking about how recently I got it. Uh, but I have now a commercial sausage stuffer. Um, and uh, I am thrilled to have it. I'm thrilled to be in a position to have it. A lot of people love our sausage to the point where I felt the need that we could order it and make money off mm -hmm. it. Uh, and it'll stuff 25 pounds of sausage as fast as you feel you can handle it, meaning yes. seconds. It'll stuff... 25 pounds of sausage in 60 seconds. How many links is that? <laughs> is pounds. Is that about 100 links? It, if you figure... Uh, whew, I haven't figured that part out. Um, well, how, many, how, how, how much does each pound... How much does each sausage weigh after you're done? Have you, have you weighed each sausage or weighed a sausage after you're done? Right now, if... if two of my links okay so what i compare my sausage to is kibasa sausage right yeah. so you buy kibasa sausage 14 to 16 ounces right is what i think it is i have and what i think one package of kibasa sausage is is one link that they fold in half yeah um and it, it looks, looks like, like it looks like two links yeah. Um, I'm giving you two links that are similar size and they're roughly 14 to 16 ounces. Um, for, for the package. For the package. Okay. Oh, so you're getting, you're actually not getting, you're not getting as much as you might think. About 25. You're probably getting like 27, 27 links per 25 pounds. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe a little more. Uh, my my now yeah, my adding, yeah, adding fillers and not fillers, well, but yeah, no adding, fillers. not fillers, but like like when I'm saying fillers, I mean like adding spices. You're adding all these other different kinds of stuff that might add to it a little bit. It's I mean, all like, quality. <laughs> no, I know that, but I'm saying like whatever you're adding to it. It, it yeah. definitely adds to it. It's not adding much. Not it's money, adding not much at all. No. It's uh, what 
when you see the cross cut of what we're putting in our sausage, you're like, it's it's worth the ten dollars. I yeah. charge ten dollars for two for two of our ladies, and they're a healthy size. Uh, for what that's you actually that's actually a good price. Mm-hmm. I feel good price. Yeah. I feel it's a damn good price, honestly. When you see the size of the sausage you're getting, mm-hmm. one week, if you if you cut it right, you I've had people tell me I put your sausage in our chili and it was freaking fantastic, bro. They're like best yeah. chili I've ever had. I've had people tell me I put your sausage with some onions. And served it with sandwiches. It was phenomenal. I've, mm. you know, what I'm saying I've had people tell me yeah. all sorts of things. They don't send me pictures. Of this. But you know, what you gotta uh, do, Joe. You know, what you gotta do. You gotta tell them, hey, you send me a picture. Maybe next time I'll throw a couple more meat sticks in there. Or that's what you gotta do. You you gotta um. You gotta what I. Do- what I need to do is is have better promotions for the promotions I already have. I do have a promotion. If you order a certain amount, you get a free something, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, I do need to get on there and do a better job at promoting that. You're right. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe if they – maybe if uh, someone that's I – mean, because you're starting small right now, so it's easier to maintain – so maybe if uh, they send a photo, you send them a promo code just for those people. You know what I mean? For five yeah. percent off next time. Yeah, that would you be know, cool. something. Because just promoting, just promoting, just getting pictures is like insanely good. Because any customers that come in, they're able to see customers. Because 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 like you and you and I, when we when you go on a website. Or anywhere you're looking at customers' reactions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does this person think? What does that person think? You're going strictly you're going to Amazon. You're going strictly off of Amazon reviews. The reviews are like the most important thing that you can possibly think of. The food is like second. The reviews are like if you can get a person reviewing on your food, that's like. That's better than the business. That's better than anything because someone's they're advertising your business for you. Yeah, Nemo is saying, "Are you smoking something every single day?" No. Honestly, I smoke mostly Friday to Sunday on the weekends. Um, like uh, an example, like like last night, I didn't sleep. <laughs> oh, and, then, and then I know I have to do this show. So it makes it challenging. Like I've said, there's a lot of reasons why, and I, you've heard me maybe mention this over the years. There's a lot of reasons why there was a good reason to end this show. <laughs> yeah. uh, honestly, quite frankly, uh, it, it, it gets in the way of life. But what I, what I put in perspective is this show has helped me through my life and it helps so many other people through their lives i i don't end it you know what i'm saying it just it's it's worth keeping going you know what i'm saying so it's that important not necessarily to me but to others i've heard too much feedback over the years uh to just end it so you get a you get a weekend like this weekend uh, where I know I have uh, an intense uh, cook going, I just suck it up. Mm. I've not slept much <laughs> right now. Did you, uh, did you finish your taxes? I'm actually still in the process. I uh, am, I'm, I'm in the ashamed. process too. <laughs> I'm ashamed to uh, say I I'm have to pay a lot my- of extra. I did all my like capital gains and everything, and then I was a pain in the ass. And then yeah. now I have to do my. Uh, now I'm in the process. I'm done, but now I just gotta talk to TurboTax if I can get a promo code. If they can't give me one, then I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to I try to get a service code every year. I I I, I have a tax person. I have a person that does my actual taxes and. 
and she knows me quite well. And uh, so I, I I go ahead and pay for the extension. I'm that person every year. Oh, there you go. No, that's smart. That's smart. And, uh, you know, I'm Give ashamed, enough time. I'm ashamed to say. But, um, you know, that, 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 that's smart. You're giving yourself more than enough time. And uh, you know, pillow room. I'm, I'm that guy. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I am still in the process of. Uh, so, in, in, in what, I, what I am ashamed to say is I, I get a return every year, too. So, uh, Why are you ashamed? There's no re well because there's no reason for me to file so late. There's uh, absolutely no reason. Well, well we're, we're called you know, Joe. Well, we're called as procrastinators. <laughs> some, of best, some of the best people ever are called procrastinators. Yeah. Right. Right? As long as we get a real procrastin, as long as yeah. you get see the real deal procrastinators wait until the last minute, but they still get it done. That's the real deal, procrastinating. That that's that's me. I I, I pay at least seventy five dollars more to get my taxes done every year. Uh, ah, that ain't that ain't nothing though. That ain't nothing in the long run. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know what? She's wonderful. My my tax person is wonderful. She uh, does a phenomenal job. She's been doing my taxes for damn near uh, ten years. Uh, the person before that. Did my taxes for, whew, God, probably fifteen years. Um, wow. He was he That's was. Good That's good. Um. Anyway, but uh, yeah, I, you know, there is that. Um, the uh, you know, the shipping stuff is one thing, and so the I I am getting more and more and more orders for local pickup. The, the person today that picked up the food, um, you know, needed it for today for a party that he was having uh, just a few hours later. So it was a hot hold sort of situation. Uh, everything was hot, uh, ready for him to pick up. That is absolutely something I can do. And, and what I feel like I... I offer, which is a little bit better than someone else, is everything you're going to buy for me, unless you request otherwise, is going to be vacuum sealed. Mm. And in a condition where all you got to do, like, like I told him, listen, bring a cooler, bring a regular size cooler. I'm going to fill it with hot water. Okay. And then. I'm going to put all those vacuum sealed packages in that water and it's ready to serve whenever you are. So you don't necessarily, let's say you order a certain quantity of meat. Let's say you order, I don't know, man. Let's say you order 15 pounds of, of cooked meat. Yeah. All that meat's going to be in different packages. So let's say 15 pounds of meat, let's say it comes in six different packages and you only brought out four you've got two more packages that you could just take out of the water dry them off and put them right in the freezer and save them for another day yeah you know what i'm saying but yeah. those those four packages that you needed were ready when you wanted them you just took a a, a knife and cut them open or a pair of scissors and cut them open and yeah. served them Right out of that cooler that was full of, of hot water when you needed it. So yeah. let's say you only needed them. You're in the you the party's just starting. You need you need the first two packages of meat right off the bat. Open the package, you, you take out your serving dish, you put them out there, however you're displaying them. I don't I don't know about that part. You, you put them out there on a serving platter, however you're displaying displaying them. And then you might not need the second one for two more hours. Well, it's in your cooler and the hot water just staying warm waiting on you. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not getting dried out. It's not getting any of that stuff. So when you're ready, you take out the next two packages, cut them open. They're ready with all the juices and they're just as tender as that first batch was two hours ago. 
Mm. You didn't have to do anything else but cut them open, put them on the platter again, and they're ready to go. Yeah, vacuum sealing definitely makes it much, much easier right. than anything else. Yeah. You can always, even if you just put them all, even if you just throw five of them in the freezer and just take one and just put it in the boiling water and cook it and and do what you do, you still have those in the freezer, like you're saying, and it will be just as fresh as when you made them, when you reheat them. If not better, because you might yeah. have a preference on, okay, you're like, okay, this stuff, when I defrosted it. And you I, had the butter. You had, you had a little slice of butter in there. It's nice and tender. But you know what? I This time around, the last time I had it, that other package, I had it nice and tender. This one I want a little crispier. So I put this one in the toaster oven, and mm. I toasted this one and got it a, a little crispy edges and that sort of thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you can kind of customize it to your wants, your you needs. Can, you can pan, get it in the bowl and want to take it out, pan sear it real quick, boom, boom. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I cooked it a particular way, but you might want to take it to a particular level that you're feeling that day, mm -hmm. right? Or that at that moment. You might want to make tacos, right? And chop it up, throw into some tacos. Exactly. You know, add some. Add some. Pick up the it's guy. The whole thing going on. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's your yeah. food. You do with it as you wish. Just send me some photos. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 I'm telling you, you have to. Uh, I don't know. You, you, there's a way of you got to entice them to send photos. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you got to throw you. You got to make it worth it. Hey, you send photos this time. Next time, I'll throw two more uh, of something that's not as expensive for yourself. Something that's cheaper. Something that you can just throw in. And they'll love it. The beef sticks are an amazing thing. The, Boom. You're right. You're right. You know, I, I, and that to me, that's my thinking is something that's not even on the menu. I have a yeah. very limited menu. I think I have eight items, maybe maybe. That was a suggestion to me in the very, very, very beginning. Um that I'm sticking to because yeah. I feel like that's a fantastic suggestion. Keep it small, keep it lean and mean, keep it the things that you make well, that you do well. That might be a suggestion, Tom, is perhaps something that we don't even have on the menu. And like if if oh, there you, you go. if you send photos or you post a review on your next order, I'll offer you this or something. Yeah, that you might be onto something. But, but just kind of churn it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Every time you make a review, I'm willing to put something else. I'll, I'll throw. I'll throw an extra in there of something. You not necessarily give them what. Tell them what you're gonna put because it kind of like puts you on at, at the point where you have to put a certain thing. You, but like. <laughs> The point where you like you, you can put something in there and not be like I'm I'm like relied to put this certain thing. You know what I mean? I'm trying to find out what the dogs doing. <laughs> dogs be the dog. I heard I heard a noise and now I'm like, what did you? The do dog's probably that? lonely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I, that's a good suggestion. What did like you I, I was, if if I was you, I wouldn't like to say, uh, like this is gonna be this and this is gonna get this. I would be like <laughs> an, an extra of something. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's smoking something. <laughs> no, I'm just because 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 when, when you say it's gonna be something, like the customer is expecting a certain thing, and yeah. maybe you don't have it. When you put an extra, it could just be extra sausage. It could be an extra burger, a couple burgers. It could be. I I have a promo code right now. I have a couple, and I haven't promoted them. Well, the, 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 one of the problems I'm having right now is I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little busy, and posting on social media takes a while. So why don't you hire somebody? 
Yeah, that costs money. I it, it costs money. You know what? You know what, Tom? It costs more money than you're you're reasonably willing to pay. It's yeah. absolutely absurd. And then go my, on fiber. My sister, yeah, that as well. My sister, yeah. who's 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 um, you know, my sister has a viral page, if you will. You know what I'm saying? My sister yeah. is has one of those. Uh, very successful uh, viral uh, markets, right? Viral, you know, so she's a good one that I go by. I don't talk about my sister much, except for when she will comment on on one of the videos when we're live, like right now. If she was to comment, I would, of course, post it. On uh, so what, what are you trying to post on Instagram? Like, are you trying to just? I post mostly on Instagram and Facebook, uh, and I I started a TikTok a couple of weeks ago on yeah. her suggestion. Um, Any views? Now she's one of those people that has a six figure type of uh, socials, mm. right? Her socials, uh, you know, she she you know she makes a six figure income from her socials. You know what I'm saying? From her shop, from her store, yeah. online. Um, uh, you know, um, very successful. <laughs> you know, how can I argue with the numbers? You know what I'm saying? Very yeah. successful. Now, my sister, that's her 1,000% job. When she comes to visit me here, uh, it, it, let, let, you know, Probably eight hours of her day is managing. She's on her laptop managing her her her, her, her shop. You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. full time job for her. When you see someone that 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 is a that type of person that makes that kind of money on the, on those socials, uh, it's a different perspective. Right. Uh, yeah. Even in my heyday, when I was, uh, you know, number one beer reviewer on YouTube, I wasn't that consumed with it. I wasn't that busy. Your your customer service. You're what? getting a lot. Of, you're getting a lot of people asking questions, and a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of orders, a lot of yeah. I See, she's imagine. doing she's doing orders. She has a shop, and and that's a different ball game. So that's what I'm getting into now. So she's offering me suggestions, and so that's uh, so she tells me different things about who to go with, and I've I've checked into them, and I'm I'm I I have to admit I'm frugal, all right. Mm. That's some of my problem. I'm not willing to pay the money uh, for some of this stuff, quite frankly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like yeah. I'm more the patience guy. I'm willing to wait it out and see how it plays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're better off doing that in the beginning, but when when you're able to, it's better. Yeah. When you're able to, it's better off. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not in a huge hurry. It's not my main income uh, by any yeah. means. I'm okay. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I didn't get into this to make, like, crack tons of money. Not just Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, <laughs> Hans, you trying to get in the show, man? You trying to get in the show? How about uh, any of you guys watching the UFC? Uh, oh, UFC 300 is already going on. I already got my tag ready to go. Block my camera. Anybody watching UFC 300? I honestly don't even know who's. F I know. Oliveira's fighting. Let me see. I think. Oh, Justin Gaethje's fighting. Max Holloway. That should be a good fight. And then uh, Charles Oliveira. I don't know that dude. Wait, Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway got canceled? What? That's messed up. How many people in the chat? 
I think the malt liquor community kind of left. Seven people in the chat. How's the chat doing today? Yeehaw. You got Hans Hans still in the chat? The chat's flying. It's absolutely flying. It's absurd. Drinking a hard fruit punch. Absolutely delicious. Amazing. I think I should stop drinking. They had a... Ooh, the mucho mango was delicious. And then the watermelon. Honestly, the watermelon? The best. That's one. <laughs> I think it's a good idea, Joe. Good idea. I was just thinking. Freebie. You can just put... That could be a promo code. Freebie. Okay. Freebie. So it's right. not like any, it's not it's not naming anything. It's just a freebie. All right. You know something yeah. easy, but it's kind of yeah. it's a. Uh, it would have to be like, are you able to communicate with your customers after they? Do you have their emails or anything? Is that the thing? Mm hmm. Would you be able to communicate after they post a photo? Yeah. Yeah. So you just, like, I, free. Like, you, uh, you, know, you know what's scary is from this aspect. Tom, we all order stuff online. Yeah. And uh, from this aspect, <laughs> from this aspect, now that I've, I'm taking online orders, it's scary. Yeah. So you got all these different people. people. <laughs> yeah. It's not scary from like, I don't know. It's just, you, 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 you know, uh, no, but I do have a way to contact you for sure. And yeah. you can put time, you can put timelines on your on your promo codes, right? You can be like sign this promo code yes. now, one thousand. And if you, don't, if you don't use it for the next week, like you can be like, hey, for the next two weeks, you get a promo code yeah. freebie. You order over this amount of you miss this amount, hey, you can get a you get some free. Yeah, absolutely. For instance, I had a uh, promo code for Easter, uh, okay. and promoted it up until the end of Easter, literally till that midnight I promoted it uh, for Easter. Uh, yeah. People took advantage of it, but I did have that promotion and, and it automatically expired uh, just like you said uh, right after that. Uh, right after that time period. Yeah. It, it, and it's definitely easier to communicate with the people that local because you see them in person. Yeah, you know what I mean, instead of like making it awkward online, you can kind of just speak to them. But like, hey, you said you, if you post a couple, like I've done it with my chiropractor and stuff. Hey, you you post me, you make a review. I'll you know next time you come in, I'll give you twenty five percent off or you know, something. Right, you know anything like that. It's just and then you post a review, they see it, and it's it's well, <laughs> you're one thousand for. Listen, we all know what it's like in our local areas compared to something that you're trying to do strictly online, right? And so, but but once you get the traffic online, it's it might be easier when you get more traffic because all you have to do is spend this amount. You get in, you you can use this promo code. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can kind of you you obviously know you can make the threshold. You spend over this amount. Certain you can do certain things or this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But starting small might be a little different because local, it's easier right now because you're able to organically start. I'm, I'm not in too much of a hurry. Uh, you know, my, I, I'll give you one thing that's happening right now, right? I work for a big corporation. Right? Um, I, I work for one big corporation that is here out of Phoenix area. Uh, this big corporation is willing, more than willing, more than willing, more than willing to hire me to do events for them. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, really? They've asked? Yes, sir. The, the problem with barbecue is people get fanatical about it. And that's what I'm worried about. I don't, I don't have the capacity. I, I am very, very patient. So I, 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 I opt to the side of pumping brakes, yeah. right, 
for example, I was talked to already for a big event that's coming up this coming weekend. Now it's coming up this coming weekend, but I was talked to about it probably three weeks ago about doing some stuff for this particular event. Um, and uh, well, I can't, I can't handle that. Even though, could, yeah. had I stretched myself, maybe took some time off, and then I could have done it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in that position to need that, right? Yeah. I don't need that. I don't. I, I make a living. I, uh, I'm not. I don't need this for money. Yeah, you feel? it's not. It's not like you're quitting your job and you're like, I'm all in. It's, no. it's you're waiting till your job is you're retiring and then you, if it, it happens it happens yes type of thing yeah yes i don't i don't um it, you know so anyway this, this you know and this ain't the only thing to come up like this already right like th this has happened a few times it's and I'm very familiar with this sort of thing from my photography. I again, th this isn't the only business I've started either, right? So I've I've been seasoned with this from my photography. Uh, I I build relationships. It's what I'm I'm doing the exact same thing with my with the barbecue. People get to know me. They get fanatical about. Who I am, what I'm doing, um, how I'm doing it, my process. Once they see it, and they, in this case, taste it with my photography, they experience it. Like I would tell them, "Look, I, am I everybody's photographer? No, 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 no. But I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make art for your work." And when they told me their needs and this and that, and I met them, that's it. Uh, I give them prints that they put up on the wall, super big. You see how I do prints. Yeah. I do prints uh, that will fill a billboard if that's what you want. Uh, and I, Tom, I've gotten offers as recently as just two years ago to a, come to Denver. We'll pay for this. We'll pay for that. We'll pay for this. You're our guy. We need you to photograph this for us. Still. And I'm... <laughs> I'm like, no, man. I'm sorry, man. I don't do that. No, 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 Joe. We're not trying to hear that. We, you know what I'm saying? Because I build these relationships with people. Mm. So I still go off of that. Like I tell Lisa, my girlfriend. I'm like... I am still working off of that. I'm trying to build relationships more than I am worried about. Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if I continue to build relationships with, with you, with Tom, anytime Tom thinks barbecue and he's got something going on, I'm his guy. Hmm. That's it. He doesn't, you don't think anybody else. You think, you know what? That's it. I I need new creation barbecue. That's the way it works. Mm -hmm. Why would I go any other way? No matter what the cost. I'm, I'm not. I'm trying, trying to be everybody's guy. Not trying to be everybody's guy. I, it's supposed to be. A, it's supposed to be a convenience. Yes. For someone to ship to your house. Like it's not like going to a restaurant and you're just getting it there. It's it's eating quality food at your own home yes. yes that's 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 the difference that's for, the difference for your event food that suits you for your particular event for your particular yeah. desire right so i don't i don't I, I i i you know quite frankly tom me and costco as much as i'll bang on costco we have the same customer <laughs> yeah it's true though it's true right we have the same i have the same exact customer and i i i am not afraid to hide that i don't i don't feel the need to like oh yeah um by the way no i'm i'm loud and i'm proud about it if you're if you're gonna ask me about it i'll tell you i don't yeah. 
love to hide this from anybody. Um, I feel like my product stands for itself. Like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But the people that do, do, and they'll order more. And that's fine. I'm yeah. not I'm not everybody's photographer and I'm not everybody's uh barbecue guy, if you will. Mm. But I feel like my barbecue is pretty damn good and um and those goddamn reviews. You need goddamn reviews. <laughs> goddamn people I need goddamn... Come yeah. on, boys. Come but on. look, look, just like photography, right? Like um I can get a thousand bad reviews. But I'm still making a ton of money. But photography is very visual. Like you can, you're, you're, you can see it, right? It, like okay, food, food but like a food is but, like you take the but you're you're still taking a moment, one one thousandth of a second, right? And yeah. freezing that moment. And and the thing of it is, is in a lot of cases, what I was hired to do is is to put on a wall frozen forever an image that you have in your head and that's the only place it exists yeah and i i match that you you vocally speak those words out of your mouth you're the pickiest person in the world and i have to not only guess with what you said mm what I need to meet. But I take that and visualize it for you, print it right in the biggest image possible, just like you said. I meet that. I'm I'm your guy forever. But not also you have to create the experience. Yes. Visually. Because, it's a because, very, very hard thing to do. You have to it's, create the experience between two people, yeah. and then capture that, capture what they think is possible. They think it's not possible, and that's and what I've done visually for since two thousand and seven. Mm. All right, yeah. now this is a very different animal. You're right because it's taste. Yeah, but but I've already I've already done that, and and and, and mind you. With my photography, I'm sitting right here looking at some of my photography that makes people very uncomfortable. Mm. What I love doing is telling people why you feel so uncomfortable, right? You come in this house. You can't walk into my house without seeing my photography. You still, to this day, cannot walk into my house without seeing what I am, what I do. Some of it will make you be very uncomfortable. Depending on who you are, what your insecurities are. But that's got everything to do with you, not me. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the first yeah. thing I'll explain to you. What I the next thing I will want to know is why. Why does this image make you so uncomfortable? Why? That fascinates me, right? Because for the few people few maybe two percent of the people out there that it doesn't make uncomfortable that's my custom and that's been enough with my photography to make to make some decent money i you're look not, you're not supposed to be everybody's customer that's the whole no. point right that's the no. whole point no and that, my that's my least thing it's like if, 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 every, if everybody likes you then you got no backbone <laughs> uh, you, uh, you gotta now that's the artistic world right that's the artistic side this is a different artistic side is, but with food now granted i i need more than a than a two percent portion of the world yeah. to like my food than than does i don't know two two percent is pretty goddamn good joe it is <laughs> i, I need more than that for food right yeah I understand some of these things, right? But not everybody is going to like my style, and that's okay. That's what I try to let people know. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay for you. There's enough of us out there. There's enough room for 
all of us to coexist exactly right and i've had this guy's barbecue and i've had that person's barbecue and i've i and i can recommend this for you if you tell me hey, this is more your style then you might be inclined to try this person that's over there that yeah. that establishment over there try mine and then and then go try theirs you might like theirs theirs might be more to your liking and, i don't have any problem with that at all and, and that's what i would say for a review say you have a customer that's come back two mm -hmm. or three times and you know they really like your barbecue yeah. those are the best reviews those yeah are the, well, those are the, the thing of it is 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 i i feel like someone that likes my barbecue on a monday might have something going on different on a Thursday, and that's why they like that barbecue down the street. Right? Yeah. And on come Saturday, they got this different thing going on, and that suits that for that particular occasion. All mm. of these things are fine because Monday is going to come around again, and you're going to want mine again. Yeah, yeah. That's but what in the bit that's still in the freezer, and you're like, "What are we eating tonight?" Yes, right? we still have some of Joe's barbecue in there. Let's fire it up. There you go. Let's I, go I, I am okay with all of it. There, there's a place and a top, right. I don't need to be your number one guy for everything. I realize I can't be. All of these things are very acceptable. For whatever the reason, maybe it's price, maybe it's practicality, maybe whatever the reason. I don't know the reason, right? Just like McDonald's, you can get a better burger, <laughs> right? Down the street, Somewhere else. Ten minutes. But you still go to goddamn McDonald's. Why, right? You can get a better taco somewhere, but you still go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Oof. Taco Bell is expensive. You've been to Taco Bell recently? No, I have not. But oh my God. that's not the that's point. Not. They're still in business because people still visit them, but yeah. they still spend money to go to these other places. Again, all of these things are fine. I understand how it works. I'm okay with it. Mm. I But I know my place, and I'm willing to accept my place in that perspective i'm okay with it right mm. i don't i i don't think that i will be everything for everybody and i don't expect to that's the thing my expectation is not to be so i don't need to be so if i am that's cool but i realize that that's not necessarily how it works for most, right? That's the exception, not the rule. All the all these things are fine. It's like beer. Think about it, right? We can relate to beer. Yeah, we IPAs. Have, not everyone have, likes an IPA. Right. Wait, not everybody uh, likes IPA. Even if you absolutely love IPAs, you do not drink anything else but an imperial IPA. Think about that. All you drink is Imperial IPAs. That's your shit. That is that is all you drink. You would not drink a Miller. You would not drink a, a, a Bud Light. You would not drink anything else. Not a stout. Nothing else but an Imperial IPA. You're not going to drink an Imperial IPA from, from Tombstone every single time. If I'm re referring to my area, you're not going to drink an Imperial IPA from rent house every time you're going to mix it up right yeah you're, you're still it no matter what it is you're going to mix it up because you you still want a variety even if it's that imperial ipa style i'm okay even if, with even if it's the best you still want to try others right i mean it, it, i have treehouse 40 minutes away there I you mean, go i love treehouse i would love to go right. there every day mm-hmm but I don't, I don't have the money to be spending on their beer every day. There you go. They do a lot right. of cool stuff, actually. They do. The, they they can they can coffee now. 
Okay. Been doing that for a little bit. Think about that. Think about what you just said. You don't have the money for it every day. You still recognize that, man, I freaking love it when I have exactly. it. I look it up and I see it. And, and that's the way yeah. most people in your area think about it. But still think about how they're growing. There's enough people out there that feel exactly like you do. Mm -hmm. You can't afford it all the time, but we make room for it occasionally. Yeah. yeah. That's enough. If they have 50, 60 of those every day come in. Yes. Boom. Yeah. And then have their regulars at the same time. Yes. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Something happens. Now, now you see where I'm coming from, right? I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily, that's not necessarily my customer. My customer isn't necessarily the person that, that is like, oh, every freaking day of the week I'm having, maybe there is someone out there, right? But I feel like that's the exception, not the rule, right? Mm. I feel like my customer might order from me regularly uh every few months yeah might and that's a might right yeah they, they might order something and when they do they might order some chorizo one time and this is local where they don't have to pay for shipping they might order chorizo sometime and they might order some smoked sausage another time and then splurge on a brisket once a year. That's yeah, because they know, they know it's there. They know right. they're able to get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you got you got to you got to do a smackdown on them, and you got to get those reviews. Oh man, review. <laughs> you got to give right. them, you got to give them like a uh, I don't know, like a I don't know, like some I don't know I don't know how you would do it to make sure like the next time they come back in. So if you do a promo, you could do like a four month promo only for those certain people. If you only give a promo out to only if you only give like a certain promo out, like a weird promo that only no one nobody would ever think of. Uh, again, I'm not in too much of a hurry. My my main smoker is currently being manufactured right now. As we yeah, I was going to ask about that. So it's not due here till the end of April, beginning of May. So it's soon, though. They're building it right now. Right. They're building it. So, and then you figure once it gets here, another two to three weeks-ish for me to get it not only broken, but get used yeah. to how it cooks, all those sorts of things, right? Uh, yeah. it, it'll take... An easy month, Tom, for you to figure out how that thing cooks and get comfortable with it. You might might ruin a couple things or doing that. Right. Like you might. It's going to be a lot of cost of um. Right. Loss loss of. What, so a lot of people are going to be my paid beta testers, if you will. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be cooking on current devices to make sure that I get out stuff consistently, but also on that device. To make sure that I'm getting practice in with that device, so it, it's a it's a mixture of both. For it might be might be worth cooking just like the cheapest meat you can get, chicken or. Well, something. what I'll what I'll you know, is if my plan is to be cooking things that I'm very familiar with, and that's ribs. I'm yeah. very 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 familiar with ribs, uh, how they cook. Uh, I'm very familiar with, so I'm not, and that's a, a quick cook for me, if you will. I know that that's kind of crazy for someone to tell you that a six-hour cook is a quick cook, but that's the Definitely reality. Easier than a brisket, definitely easier than a brisket. In, in my world, that's ribs is what I'll be doing. That's a quick cook for me. Um, I can do a lot of them on that on that particular device that's coming so and you'll be able to watch them too so you can throw them on different racks and like you'll be able to like yeah. kind of maneuver mm -hmm. so it might be able to uh teach you about the hot like certain hot zones in there yes. and different, very much yes the whole nine yards yeah exactly 
exactly. That's that how. should be a that's a journey in itself. Oh, it's that's so a, much. That's, that's, that's that's a start of that's the start of the whole thing right there. I'm looking forward to it, honestly. That should be yeah. cool. I I had a delivery uh, Friday, anticipating anticipating that to make sure that I have enough ribs for when it gets here, I can get started immediately. Mm. Yeah. I've gotten a certain, I've gotten a certain amount of product ready to go now. So let's say you were to order a certain amount of ribs right now. Uh, and I, let's say you ordered them right now, as we're speaking, I've got a certain amount of, uh, a quantity of food that's ready to go. I'll ship it Monday. If you were to placing your order today or even tomorrow, I'll get it out Monday. Um, I have a certain amount of stock ready to go now. Uh, I've already pre-cooked and is frozen, ready to go. Um, you know, so this is future stuff. That's you know. I was just thinking. About, I was just thinking about Coach. I imagine if we stayed on for another fifteen minutes, he'd probably pop. <laughs> Maybe well, he might yeah. be hammered by. He now. might be. He yeah. He's. He was already hammered. And he's going to the yeah. bar. He's ballsy. When he said that he was gonna start getting drunk, yeah, he was oh already. Goodness. He was already roasted. Holy crap! Anyway, man, I better get out of here, Tom. Yeah. Thank you, man, for staying up so late. I appreciate it, my man. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, great talks with you. I really appreciate it. Sincerely appreciate all your suggestions. They will be getting talked about later. I. Trust me, they will. I consider all of them, and I'll be talking thoroughly with my business partner, who is the roommate, my girlfriend. Uh, all info is good info. Yeah, I, I, man, trust me, that lady is amazing. Um, we're both, in our own rights, phenomenal cooks, uh, and she trained the two professional chefs that mm. are her sons that that are actual professional chefs, one of which is currently in Southern Mexico doing a food tour, oh, uh, nice. getting more ideas. Um, the, these guys are legit, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't sounds, know. How, it sounds like it. I don't know how else to tell you, man. These guys are everything that you see on, on your socials or uh, TV or I don't even know how to tell you, man. These guys are it, – it, it's incredible to have that kind of talent close to me where I can get yeah. feedback off of them. And they're well-established in this business, and I, I get a lot of tips from them too. I don't, I don't give them enough credit, honestly, for, for decisions in the direction that I go. I don't give them enough credit. Uh they well, it's are who you, it's who you surround yourself with is gonna build it's gonna build around you it's, yeah that's what's gonna build your business yeah honestly they're, they're amazing amazing guys super talented they're your age mm. uh honestly <laughs> you hearing ghost oh <laughs> hey Lisa, come here oh let's see if we can get her on camera here maybe I don't know if she's going to see this back in there. <laughs> she's like, she's probably just getting in. Let's, uh... Yeah, on camera. Because I'm talking about you when you walked in. <laughs> see? Lisa. Here she is. Hi. This is, this is the business partner, the other half, the roommate, the girlfriend. <laughs> Come here, the girlfriend's daughter. Come here. She's not going <laughs> to do it. They, they just walked in the door i'm catching them cold but this is the person that that we've been talking about this oh, whole time that is, is he well it Who's none of it's good things? none of it <laughs> none, none of it's good but you know uh so i just wanted people to you know be able to see put a face on it you know the person that I talk about all the time, and, and uh, they they so happened to walk in the door right now. So I was like, "Come here, <laughs> yeah, get your ass over here." Uh, 
The daughter was not willing to get on camera. Absolutely not. Not willing to do it. But her brothers are uh, a huge influence, man. Absolutely. On, on anything that I do with barbecue because they are well established in that business. And all the little nuggets that they throw my way, I, I listen to 100%. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it, my man. Uh, You're very welcome. You take care. Best wishes to you and your family. Uh, man, you're you're ready any day now, aren't you? Oh, dude, it's um, it might be earlier than we might have thought. It might be at thirty six weeks. So yeah. that's in four or five weeks. That's it's coming soon. We're figuring out names and stuff, and we're trying to. We're going back and forth on names. We, hey, I, you know I, what? I don't want to say. I, names. I, I'm not going to be hurt if any of those names begins or ends with the Joe D. <laughs> yeah, I'd be screwed for life. They'd be pissed. You named me after Joe D? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a girl. Yeah. If it's a Joe C, I'm, not, I'm still not. You know, or I'm, Josephine. <laughs> Josephine. I'm still okay with that. If you want to call her Joey, I'm okay with that as well. That's acceptable. Yeah. I'll, I'll accept not, even anything that begins with a J. I'll claim it. It's right? not easy naming twins. It's not even easy naming one child. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy naming twins. Holy crap. <laughs> it, trying to dial in on one name is, is rough enough. Yeah. Now we're trying to name twins. But I think we're dialing in a little bit. We got a couple names. You've, you've probably names. got a whole. Uh, I can't we've, even. We've gone add. through scripts of names. We've, yeah, I'll just we'll sit there and just start reading off the names and. <laughs> yeah, we'll, <laughs> you know how it is. Holy okay, crap. look. If the name starts with a J, I'll have to have a special <laughs> promo code for that. Right, <laughs> some sort of free meat if it free starts meat. with a J. <laughs> Right, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll the first food they'll eat. <laughs> we'll feed them food brisket. Okay, Jesus. my man, you get some hey. rest. Thank you for staying up. I appreciate it, man. Peace out. You're very welcome. Have a good night, man.